regards to the spice of it. Okay, a nice warm welcome to all our viewers. We are live at Pukekohe today. Uh, we have a match between Marco Teutscher and Jeremy Ho. And my partner is not here today, but we have got somebody else filling in, and that's Sheridan Burmester. Hi, guys. Hope everyone's doing well on this Sunday afternoon. Okay, we've got a last eight here, a last eight match between Marco and uh, Jeremy. Jeremy's playing really good. Okay, his last match was against Dominic Mariko, and he won 6-2 there, Sheridan. Yeah, that's a strong win. Dominic's playing really well, travelling to all the events for the NZPA. Oh, and scratch off the break, first time from Marco. Yeah, nice one in the uh, middle pocket. If you keep watching these games, you'll see those players putting that one in the middle pocket there. So all of these, you know, with the magic crack, they've worked out how to put the one in the middle pocket and how to hit it. Yep, definitely. Quite an open layout here for Jeremy with ball in hand. Yeah, so this will just show us, and he needs this, you know, he needs to finish here to get a good start. So this, this will show us how good he is playing. Yeah. One, two, two, three is quite easy. Three to the four is the key shot, I think. Yeah, then everything's, you know, all in the open. This is what he needs, eh? He needs a good start, especially against Marco. You need that start. Yeah, and, and especially on his break, you know. Okay, just a stop shot, punch shot. Oh, no, the four's not on in the corner, so he'll have to try and make a pocket, and he's made the perfect pocket, yeah. the only pocket. It's a nice shot there. Four into the middle, run forward. He's played that perfect. Like I say, Jeremy's playing really good. It's all these junior tournaments he's playing. He's probably putting in a bit of time at home, and... Yeah, he's playing good pull. Yeah, he's hitting the ball really nicely. Yeah, real exciting to watch, young Jeremy. Well, all the juniors are, and we did have eight juniors qualified to the, uh, this weekend. Yeah, it shows a level of Ooh, junior pull in New Zealand. A little bit short here. A little bit short here. Yeah, still, still potable, though. Yeah, just focus on the pot. Yeah, nice shot. Beautiful shot. And good position. How's that, guys, for... The first frame from Jeremy. Oh no, it's a bit short again. Oh no, how? Yeah. How could that happen? He needs this. Yeah, sure. What a great start. Great start by Jeremy Ho, folks. Could this be a, a major upset? Last eight. So we've got to get the uh, names right. Our referee, Stephen Lyle, an international referee who's refed all over the world. So it's good to have him on stage today. Saves me from doing another job. And our mate, Mark Watson, my partner in crime, is not here today. Mark the Mouth Watson, if you're out there watching. Yeah. Got young Sheridan here doing your job. Here we go, Jeremy to break. Okay, let's see what sort of break he has, uh, Sheridan. Let's see where that one goes. Oh, close oh, to the yeah. middle pocket. Dry break. Yeah, the thing is with this break, when you when you play the one, you very rarely make another ball. Yeah, that's because the nine ball is on the uh, spot yeah, instead so of the uh, head ball. Yeah, so like the wing ball doesn't normally go in and it's really hard to make a ball if you don't make the one unless you're just smashing it straight down the middle. And they're also uh, breaking from a, a break box. Yeah, that's the, uh, the match room break box, which is the uh, pretty much the universal rules for nine ball these days. Okay, and also Marco is playing absolutely brilliant pool as well. Put a lot of time in over the last couple of weeks. Yeah, and he flies to the US Open on Thursday. <laughs> and that's why he's putting in such 
tremendous amount of time. Hot favourite at the moment, and looking at the uh, draw, it looks like him and Matt Edwards look like they're going to have another finals collision. Yeah, that. But you never know what these other young players coming through. Yeah, you know, there's, there's always upsets, you know. You can never, it's never set in stone just by looking at the draw, but there are favourites to, to, you know, go through. Our number one ranked, one and two ranked players, Matt Edwards, number two, Marco Teutcher, number one. And in between, you've got some very good, talented players, especially these young juniors. Once these juniors start winning, they're going to be winning for a long time. Yeah, and if they start winning young, you know, it's like they're going to be there for, like, you know, the next 10, 20, 30 years. That's right, and, uh, you know, you look at the uh, world stage now, a lot of young juniors or young players around there between 20 and 30, all at the top of the uh, game. Yeah, those are the players that are dominating right now, the younger, the younger generation. That's why it's so important to get these young players to a high standard. Yeah, and I think New Zealand now definitely has the resources to do that with our juniors. Yeah, definitely. They've got all the equipment. Across two balls made by Aramith. The Arcadia cloth. Yeah, everything. Everything high standard predator, all the high standard predator equipment being played with today. Especially the table, beautiful table, steel frame. World class condition. Conditions. Just, just tried to break that up there, but he hasn't quite got there. So. The eight. The Safe, eight. Safety here from Marco. Yeah, look for safety. You'll know the percentages on what to play. Hiding behind the green ball. Nice shot. That's a nice shot there. So we're going to bring you both semi-finals and the finals. And with nine ball, it's going to be very quick. Just put an order. You don't have to call your ball. Flukes count. Okay, yeah. how's he going to escape from this? Looks like he's going to try a three rail escape. Go in behind the four, three rails, and then kiss into the three. Has he got enough on it? No, Just misses it. it. Wow, that was close. Okay, the gunslinger. From where? Uh, well, it was the gunslinger from Eindhoven, but I think it's changed to the gunslinger from Waikato. <laughs> <laughs> Just pop out to the middle of the table. Perfect line. Yeah, it's going to be a little bit tricky to get from the five to the green ball. The five to the six. Yeah, because it's quite hard to leave yourself an angle on the five yeah, from the, the four. Seven, yeah, seven's in the way. But... You know, if you pop the five and leave yourself on the rail. Yeah, I think he'll draw back a little bit closer so he can maybe do a screw back or punch off the rail. He wants to sit on the rail to be perfect. He needs to sit on the rail a little bit straight. Wow. He'll just play a stop shot here. You reckon? Yeah. Oh, jeez, I think he'll go for the power. Yeah, stop shot looks on. Because the seven's right over the hole, so all you have to do is pop the six. Maybe screw back a little bit, you know. Why didn't you play like that earlier then? I don't know. <laughs> See, I, I did that, but I missed the ball. <laughs> yeah, this guy hardly misses. Half robot, half human. Nice angle. Brought it back a bit. It's got a good line on it now. Key here, just spot the ball. Yeah, everything's pretty much over the hole now, after he pots his six. Oh, 
Nice shot, nice pot, in perfect position. So what sort of angle would you want on the eight ball, Sheridan? You want mm. to play two rails after this or? Yeah, I just want maybe screw draw. back screw back like a ball or ball or two. No, you'll go right back to the rail and back out, I'd say. Yep. Right back to the rail and back out. Then you can land too straight. Yeah, he is a little bit straight, but See, he'd be I able just to screwed to here and then gone two rails. Yeah, that would be in the easier way. I thought of that too, but he should be able to just punch down the side of the table. No, just a nice drawback. Beautiful shot. Nice, nice angle. He has these angles for lunch. Yeah, he doesn't miss these balls. When you watch Marco practice at all the uh, uh, the clubs, puts a lot of good quality time in, not just potting balls. He practices shots over and over again. Okay, and the other last eight matches, Sheridan, who we got on the that side? Yeah, we got uh, well, Dino Tagalog has beat Chris Dewar, 6 3. Nice. Matt Edwards beat Richard Alfonso, 6 1. There's an interesting match going on. Henry Nugan versus Tone Nugan, father and son battle. Henry 3 2 up. Yes, and the winner will play Marco. If he wins. So guaranteed a, a new one will play uh, the semi final. Yep. Yes, you're right, if he wins. Can't rule out Jeremy Ho just yet. Definitely not. Class player, Jeremy. I've been watching him over the last, uh, well, must be about a year by now. And, yeah, he's playing some good pool. Yeah, definitely. He's always been around the semis and the major events, major men's open. Yeah, and he's hoping to put, do some damage in Austria in a, couple, in a month. The World Junior Temple Championship. And uh, just tell us why you won't go in children. Well, I'm, I'm too old. That's right. So yeah. la last year was my last year, and I went and played in Puerto Rico. Yes, yeah, very good to get those young players over there with the experience. we also got a lot of other tournaments coming up later in the year, Sheridan. Yeah, the big Oceania Temple Championship is coming, coming to New Zealand. Which will be live from Pukekohe. Yeah, 128 players from all over the world, hopefully. Lots of the top Aussie and New Zealand players are coming over. Wow, look at that. That's a class shot from a young junior. K kick. Kick and stick. Yeah, kick and stick. and. He's really stuck him to that five. And look at all the balls too, uh, Sheridan. They're all out in the open. Yeah. He's got no clusters at all if he does get ball in hand. So if you can't really, th you know, plan on hitting the ball, he could play a deliberate foul here. Yeah. He's just pushing the five into the seven. Yeah, well, even that's hard, to be honest. It's good having the uh, referee here, watching the times and all the players. Yeah, it just keeps the games quick, you know, flowing. Next weekend we have the junior 10 ball. Yeah, that was difficult for Marco to get out of that. He just wants to mess the balls around a bit, but he hasn't done much damage. Yeah. The one, two is quite easy. The three, he can get to the three from the two if he's leaving himself a good angle on the two. Yeah, honestly, he didn't really didn't really move much. He only really moved the seven, and probably it's in a bit of a better position now. Yeah, six of the seven, yeah. Okay, he might be a little bit straight here. He can roll forward. Yeah, he can go to the rail and back out. Oh, no, he's going to punch in behind. He's going to be careful here. Yeah, I don't like that. Because that... Well. Because of that. See, and these are the sort of chances you can't give Marco. Because he will punish you. Now he's got to bring out the jump key, you know, and it's fairly easy to get onto the three, but he's failed to do that. Oh, wow. How is that? How is that for a shot? And look at the four, it's going to come up to perfection. Nice angle here from the four to the five. Yeah, these young players show no emotion. They don't really care who they're playing. It's just a name to them. Yeah, definitely. Nice angle here. Just 
watch out for the middle pocket. Plays it soft enough to two straight on the six, but that's okay. It's just a stop shot, I reckon. Yeah, stop shot's the best shot to play. Make sure you have an angle to get back to the eight. Looks like he might draw it back. Ah, just yeah, a stop shot. But, but I think it's a bit straight here. A little bit straight. It's got angle. Well, he likes it. Yeah, he looks like he's got angle. Let's go to the rail and back wow, out. Wow, nice shot. Look at that. Class shot. Go either side of the nine ball. Keeps it simple. Yeah, nice Two way. rails to the middle. Okay, we've got a fight on our hand here on our hands here, Sheridan. Yeah, definitely. Jeremy Ho, two one up. So the winner of this wall play, Tone or Henry Newen. Yeah, Henry's taking a four two lead up on Tone. And then we will see Matt Edwards play Dino Tagaloa. Or Tungalong, should I say. Getting mixed up with Revelation and Genesis. Mm. Two young juniors that also played this weekend. One of them qualified, one of them didn't. I won't tell you who. Stephen Lyle wrecking the balls up. Nine ball on the spot. Usually it's a one ball, but that was too easy for all the players. They used to just get the wing ball all the time. This one here. You have to sort of work for it. One in the middle. Let's see if we can make the one this time. There it goes, straight in the middle. Nine ball, watch it, out. Oh, wow. That would have been a... Nice, a nine to pot at this stage of the game. Yeah. It'll be good to see if Jeremy go up 3-1. See how Marco handles the pressure, but... Yeah, that happens quite often and with this new break, the nine going in. Because you see the white coming back into the pack and kicking the nine. Okay, so folks, after the break, you can push out and do anything you like, pot anything. Okay, now Marco has the option of handing it back to him or playing it playing it, uh, it himself. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> okay, he's giving it back. Okay, I think he'll try and hide behind the six ball. No, he's going for the plant. Nine ball, fairly easy game. Just pot in order. A lot of these snooker players will adapt to this sort of... Oh, nearly. They will adapt to this sort of game. It's just like running colours on a snooker table. Okay, yeah. the ref, Stephen Lyle, putting a bit of pressure on Marco to play quick. Yeah, it's a bit uh, of a test giving him uh, 30 seconds each shot. Okay, how's he going to get to the three ball? Nice punch, but he hasn't punched enough to get out. Snooker yeah. here. Yeah, I couldn't see him getting out for that. The angle just looked... Yeah, maybe roll forward would have yeah, gotten a shot on the three. Yeah, but then you're rolling into that seven and the eight, you know. Yeah. Okay, he's got away with it. I think so. No, you can see the edge. He's got options here. You know, he can go for it, but he's also the safe option on. Yeah, I think he... Uh, Safe option is the shot. But the way he's playing, he could slash. Oh, yeah, he played the right shot. Yeah, that's the shot. Great shot by young junior Jeremy Ho. And the five makes the one rail kick hard as well. A lot of pressure on the gunslinger.
with full contact and a bit of luck. No, yeah, he's got a bit of luck. He's hiding behind the sixth ball. Might need a ref for this shot. Off the rail kick or in behind kick? Yeah, I think you have to go off the rail here. Yeah, I think it's on for the pot, you know, you can get between that green ball and red ball. Here we go. He's got a little bit spin, as well. Look at the spin. Spin might have just left him on. <coughs> Marco being a professional, just bide his time. Yeah. Just wait for the right moment. He just spun this, that in quite nicely. Yeah. And this could be the moment. Trying to get an angle on the f on the orange ball to play two rails for the green ball. A lot of angle here, Sheridan. What do you do? Go across yeah. the table or you just try and hold? Yeah, I think he, he's going to come just above the middle. Yeah, and then back out. And then back out, yeah. No, he's held well. Wow, well, there it is. Well. There's the angle, guys. Nice two rail shot. The reason why they use the two rails Got more speed control. Yeah, more often you're running into the line than on the line, you know, like across it. Isn't it that hard enough? It's a pretty good, but yeah, shouldn't miss this. Right from, you know. Yeah, well, so how do you play this one? Slow or two rails? I reckon, yeah, he's going to play it two rails. Yeah, a lot of bottom, cut the angle out, head towards the middle of the table. Nice. A little bit short again. Yeah, he's just he's just not getting on the right line. But still got a good shot. Yeah, but he's he pots well so you know he can afford to be off the line a little bit. Okay, you can see him stun across the uh table and come back to where the white ball is now. That would be the shot. It's just the ball. Wow. Pressure. He's got away with it again. I'm not sure. And that's what happens when you put that little bit of pressure on, you know? Oh, this is on. Yeah. Yeah, it's a bad angle, but unlucky kiss on the nine ball, but he's still got an angle there to put that and get behind the nine. All top, he's got to, top right corner. All he's got to do is put this ball. Yeah, just get across the table and have a shot. He does it with ease. Yeah, with spin. Wow. And a little bit of side. Three one, Jeremy Ho. Tony Nugan brought bring it back to four all against Henry Nugan. Marcus still got plenty of time. He still hasn't settled right, has he? Nah, I don't I don't know really. He he's been playing good all day, you know, like six 0 win against Yusuf Will in the last sixteen. And then who else did he play after that, uh, Sheridan? And then in his last 32 match, he played Neville. Alame. Alame. Alamalo. Alamalo, that's one, yeah. Yeah, 5 2, so he's had some, he had some convincing wins today, but. But in saying that, you got Matt Edwards, his last 32 was 5 0. Then he played Jack, beat him 6 0. And then, then he beat Richard 6 yeah, 1. Yeah. yeah, so he's in form, you know. Yeah. But still, he has to make it through uh, one of the Filipinos, Dino Tingalog. Yeah, Dino must be playing all right, you know. And in saying that, these guys like Dino, Chris, a um, couple of others, Richard, they all gem. They all play here, like, quite consistently. You know, you see them here every... Well, I see them here every Thursdays. They're here Fridays. They're here Saturdays. They're here Sundays. And they're starting to all come through now, so the game is getting a lot more tougher. They, no easy matches now. No, As yeah. you found out against Dino, right? You lost to Dino? I lost to Chris Dua. Chris Dua. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Chris Nix, if you won that. Yeah, you know, they're playing, like, confidently, you know. They don't they don't really show any fear anymore. Yeah, yeah. the thing is, it's just consistency, because they aren't missing very often now. No, they just... It's because they play so often, yeah. you know. You can tell, especially... One of them that I say is Glenn Gadaza. 
you know, when I first met him, you know, he wasn't he wasn't the best player out of that out of those lot, but now he's like very consistent, isn't he? Yeah, he's really consistent. And I know he's playing so often okay. out here. Could be four in the middle pocket here, or unless it goes past the five. Ooh, a little bit risky. Yeah, it was a nice break from Marco, though. Really nice break. All the balls in the open. He should run this out if he can put that four ball. The money ball here. Yeah, nice. Straight past the five. Didn't even, didn't even touch the sides. Okay, he's back, folks. He's back. Yeah, this will really settle him in, I think. Just having a yeah, nice like break I say, from Yeah, with Marco, he knows his time's going to come. He's just going to be patient. Don't chase it. No, yeah, exactly. Okay, he'll get straight on the brown ball next. Or he could go to the middle. He's got options. Yeah, down the corner would be better, but now he's got the angle to the middle to get in behind the eight. Perfect angle to get in behind the eight. No, I think he's just going to roll forward here, play yeah. in the corner. Well, it's a bigger, yeah, bigger pocket down the corner. And all he has to do is get on the right side of the eight. That's where he's looking now. The other thing he must do is just stay off the rail. So we'll just... Uh, Hopefully stay off the rail. Yeah, nice. Look at how he cheated the pocket. Rail first and then the seven went in. Big pockets to all these snooker players out here. I challenge you to come out and have a go at nine ball. Yeah, anyone wanting to have a go, you know, into the next NZPA tournament. Yeah, guys like Sani Roberts could make this game. Steve Robertson has shown that he's made this game before. Katie Singh. Katie Singh, another snooker player that has played and had, has had success as well. Vince Tate is another player that would adapt to this game as well and then you've got the guys like um, uh, what's his name that Grant Hayward he used to be a good nine ball player still a very good player yeah definitely but if you don't play enough it's hard to beat these top players yeah it's definitely hard juggling different three sports as well if you're trying to play snooker nine ball seven foot English you know there's it's too many to try and to juggle. Different strokes, different techniques. Different bounces, different tables, different balls. Yeah. It's best to master one game. Oh, so you're giving up the rest of the, all the other games <laughs> yeah, to play nine ball? Yeah, I definitely want to focus on nine ball. Well, it'll take you all over the world like it already has with you. Yeah, exactly. And you know, you've only been in the game for how many years now? Three to four? Yeah, four or five years now with you. You know, it's like... Yeah, and you've been all over the world. You've been nearly more places than I have. Yeah, quite and fortunate. And you've still got a... Yeah, you're still under 21. Yeah, quite fortunate to have Messe, Messe behind me. Yep, and if they weren't behind me, I'd probably... Yeah, wouldn't have gone to America 10 times. Yeah, exactly. And they're helping out a lot with all the other juniors that are going over there soon at the end of the year. Yeah, definitely. But the big boys, he's off, they're off to... Austria to play in the World as Juniors well. with Jeremy. What about Henry? Ah, uh, yeah, Henry Nugent as well. How's he getting on with Speaking his dad? Speaking Henry, 5-4 up on tone. So he's on the hill. that. Yeah, but he's got away with it. He's left him a double. Gee, he is human. I thought he was half human, half robot. That's the human half. <laughs> okay, let's see what Jeremy can come back with. Oh, that doesn't look good. Yeah, I think Still distance, a lot of distance yeah. there. Okay, that's all. You know, the run out, the run out isn't easy, especially with the 4-5 and the 2. Yeah. So he took the right option there. Okay, Marco will try and come back with something. He can afford to have a go at it. But knowing Marco, he'll play the percentage shot, which is... Wow. His balls are rattling today. Yeah, they are. Again, just settling in. Okay, if he can get past this match here, he'll be happy. He's got two more matches before he hits that final. Well, one more. Okay, not hard enough by Jeremy. 
Yeah, these are the little mistakes that you can't make against Marco. Yeah, it would be better if you come up way past the uh, three yeah, ball. At least you would have a shot. Mm. Now it's a kick shot. Left it on. <coughs> That's going to be a foul. Okay, well, Marco attempt to move that four ball. Yeah, I'm not sure here. What he, is he looking at two fouls? Because he knows the four or five is not on. Okay, so he's going to take this, come back to the middle, maybe move the four in the one go. Yeah, he's looking, Nudge at, into he's the looking four. at the line for the four. That which will leave him on the three, but he needs to nudge that four. He misses it. Wow. Okay, so he, he's forced to probably take the plant on now if he can't get behind it. Yeah, it's just interesting to see the angle he has on that three. Yeah, he looks pretty straight. I think he can draw straight back to where the five is, but yeah, but he'll just want a chance at putting that five ball, I think. I'd take on the draw shot, come back behind the four ball. No, he's taking the plant. Okay, a tough shot here under these circumstances. 3-2 down. Very tough shot. Yeah, the plant's dead set though, I think. Yeah, it's quite an easy plant. It looks easy, but... All he has to do is kind of pot, pretend to pot the four like the five isn't there. That's how I... If it did line up, that's how I say it. And we've got Henry in the semi, so the winner will play Henry Newen. But that match mightn't happen for about an hour. We're trying to put both semis on. Okay, safety shot here maybe. Running behind the five, sit on the five. Wow. Don't yeah, like that. He didn't want to give Henry uh, Jeremy that um that side rail. Well he has and uh, you know he gets a chance anyway. Yeah, and if you kick this in, you're on the five to the top corner. Yeah, he wants to play this quite hard, so he doesn't want to play it soft and sit it over the pocket. Yeah, so that happens. Oh, Ooh, no, he's left it on. I think he's just left it on. He's having a close look, is it? Body language says no. Kick shot. Yeah, he's looking at the kick. That's the other thing Marco's quite good at, is all these kick shots that we don't really know what's happening. He does. He can he's he's going to stick this. Yeah, behind the five. Be a nice kick and stick here. But oh, look at that. What a shot. Yeah. Nice return shot. Beautiful shot. That could be the frame winning shot. Bring him back into line. He'll be happy if he can get out after this shot here. If he takes the next frame, he's going to be very dangerous. Okay, yeah, for Jeremy, it's just to hit it. Yeah, just try and hit it and hope something happens. Oh, no. Yeah, if you don't hit it, you know, against Marco. Okay, Marco rolled this four into the middle. Heaps of different options. I'd rather draw it back a little bit. Leave himself an angle to get from the five orange ball to the green ball. A little draw, good angle. Right where his chalk is, that's where you want the white ball heading. Watch the line he takes after this shot. Be the perfect line towards chalk. There you go, beautiful. Perfect. Okay, you can go two rails backwards, we'll just put the ball in. Come out, beautiful. Play it simple. Yeah. They get a good line on this eight ball, just to touch the eight ball in for the nine ball in the left corner. Perfect angle. Yeah, it's looking it's going to be three all here. What do you mean look like? Bet your house on it. This guy don't miss very many. No, he's in, in form now. You can count on one hand how much you'll miss during the whole day. 
Yeah. There it is. Jail. Yeah, he's back, so he would he'll be feeling really good now, knowing that he's back in line. So he's off to the World Nine Ball Champs in two weeks' time. The US Open. US Open. Okay, look at that, folks. We haven't got a timeout uh, sign now. Yeah, all the little things, eh, that we have now. Oh, mate, you guys are spoiled. All yeah. the players that play now at Mass A and Paul and Blues are spoiled. Yeah, definitely. We never, ever had these sort of conditions years ago. We had to play it on a beat-up nine-foot table and then go to a professional table on a at a World Championship to play. Now you've got all the right gear, right equipment to just settle straight into a game, especially yeah. playing, you know, somebody that's World Champion or you're right there and you can foot it with them because yeah. of the uh, equipment. Cost two balls. Here we go, let's see this break. One ball in the middle, the right middle. A little bit short, but he does get another ball. Oh, a little bit unlucky as well. Okay, so he ain't going to do a push out here. He'll go in behind, kick the one down the table. Yeah, there's nowhere to push out to, really. And then leave the w white ball around near the six. Can have a look at the angle now. Yeah, he wants to suck another kick and stick, really. You want to kick it past the two and use the two as a blocker. Yeah, would you send that uh, one ball down? Oh, no, he's going in behind, yeah. Yeah, he's going to kick it down past the five. Down towards the five, you reckon? Yeah. Just nice. like that and bind the two. Perfect. Okay, Jeremy needs to get out of this snooker here. He's gonna jump over and try and pot it again. A little bit of luck earlier on or Yeah, he needs to make sure he hits this. Yeah. Giving Marco ball in hand again is like, yeah, it's pretty much over again. Oh jump swerve. Oh nice try. Oh. He made the seven. No. Uh oh. But he has left him on. Yeah. Easy start for Marco. Easy one ball. Bring the white ball to the middle of the table. Okay, just needs to hold the white ball here. Cheat the pocket. Play it into the cushion. Oh no, he's got some inside English. Well. Wow. Yeah, nice shot there. Beautiful pace. Yeah, the two rail shot and it's not on. No, because of the six. So you have to play some inside English again. Bring the white ball straight down the table. Watch what the white ball does when it hits the rail. Straightens up. Yeah, nice angle here. Yeah, nice angle to get back for the orange ball. A lot of players that don't know the shot sometimes snookers themselves behind the nine ball. But what's, we'll see what sort of line he takes straight across. Yeah, that's workable. Just got to be careful of the end off here. Yeah, this is yeah, this is a funny little line. So he's just going to try and hold it there. Nothing too fancy. Yeah, Just well, once off. he's there, then he's going to be playing the uh, three rail shot maybe after this. Yeah, six to the seven will be hard. He wants the line to slide in behind the black if he, if he can. I think he has got it. That's a perfect line. Screw back in behind the black down the table or the TV shot. Three rail shot coming up or maybe just a drawback. 
We'll see straight away by his tip position. But, uh, if I knew all the shots he did, yeah, he's going back behind the black. Deep screw. A lot of spin. Whoa. Got the position. What has he left Jeremy? Jeez, he's been lucky with uh, his misses, so yeah. they've been, uh, been going to safety. A lot of them. A lot of luck involved in nine ball. Okay, what can Jeremy do? Can he put, cut this in or is he going to go safe? Safe is the call. He hasn't got it though. No, 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 no. He doesn't want to bounce. He doesn't want a big bounce. <laughs> Apex nine foot table. They also got the arena lights. Well, this isn't on. So. Yeah, it's on for the bank shot. No, not past the eight, I don't think. Bank shot, a safe. No, he's got a lot of spin on this. Yeah, so he's going to try just. Swerve around it. Bought it. Look at that. Wow, too thin. Great shot it, too. Away, yeah, I think he played for that as well, you know. Two way yeah, shot. Yeah, it's better to miss it then. He knows that. Jeremy laughing, thinking, well, this guy's got a little bit of luck, but that was well played for, I'd say. Yeah, whenever you're playing a shot like that, you'd rather hit it then. No, a little bit too hard from Jeremy. Okay, Jeremy's just got to try and stick with him. Even though if Marco takes this frame, he wants to take the next one. Okay, having a word to the ref. What was that about, Sharon? I think it was about um, just stopping the time while Jeremy walked back to his seat. Okay, across the table, back out for the seven. If he's got a lot of angle in he has. So that's the shot he should play. Nice. Look how well he played that. Perfect. Beautiful touch. Okay, backwards to get onto the... Would you go forward? Yeah, I think you have to go forward here. Backwards, there's no way you can snooker yourself. Yeah, but going forward, now you can go backwards. Yeah, backwards shot. Just watch out for the middle pocket. He's always well short. He's always away from the middle pocket. Okay, another across the table and back to the middle. Yeah. Or you could play two rails if... Uh, no, two rails look like it'll go in off. So just across the table, back to the middle of the table. For the nine ball in that left corner pocket. There you go, perfect. Had a lot of success overseas as well lately. He won yeah. the Australian yeah, the, Marble the tournament. First matchroom, the first Oceania matchroom qualifier. He won that for yeah, twelve thousand dollars. <laughs> nice payday, eh? Yeah, and that gives him valuable matchroom nine ball ranking points. Yeah, okay, he's ahead. He's got his nose ahead. Thing with Marco, well, you know he's good. Front runner and a, and a good back runner. Yeah, As definitely. you saw, he was three one down. Oh, he's four three ahead. Yeah, Jeremy's still playing good. Can't count him out. Yeah, just a couple of opportunities earlier that Jeremy did have and didn't take. Yeah, it's, it's the little things that really change the match, especially when you're playing someone like Marco. You know, every little opportunity you have, you have to take. And it may not even be running out, it might be a kick, a safety. That's right, yeah. I think he just failed to get on the three ball where he had the table open and then he had to play. Yeah, that jump. Yeah, that's yeah, that's where he broke down, just right there. Or well, it might have been a different story now. But Jeremy to break. One ball straight in the side. Has he got a shot on the two? 
Oh no, the eight's going to get in the way, the five's in the way. He hasn't got a shot. So just run the white ball to where the nine is, to the right of the nine. Where the ref is standing. Where you see the Messe sign. Yeah, you want to you push out somewhere here, but... No, oh, he's not going to kick it. Or maybe he has the left side or something. Oh yeah, you can put this. Oh no, yeah, yuck, I don't like that shot. Yeah, I'm not gonna like it. you're not gonna like his next shot though. No, definitely not. He's gonna be sitting on that brown ball, I'd say. Yep, hundred percent. It'll be behind one of those balls, the white will be. Leave no angle to get out. The brown ball is what he'll wanna be sitting behind. He might play the two behind now. Yeah, a little bit too much more, that too might. much distance there. Yeah, I think that might have leaked out of it. Yeah, he wanted to be a little bit closer to it so, so that Jeremy can't jump the seven ball. Yeah, playing safe and leaving like maybe three or four balls distance. These days it's not, it's not really safe, you know, with the jump cues. Yep, the best thing they could do is get rid of those jump cues and uh, then we'll see a real game. Sounded like he was Strickland. Yeah, well, he's been saying it for years, you know. It's not really a... Anybody can jump now. Yeah, it was a real... It's not really a real good skill. Nah. Like I say, you know, if the ball's over the pocket, you're pretty much... They're going to pot it. Expansion. Yeah, it was a rule implemented by the Derby City. I don't know if it's still there that you can use a jump cue. Once. Yeah, you've only yeah. got a few times to use it. OK, let's see Marco play this two ball. If it's on, he'll go for the cut. If it's not, he'll sit behind that purple ball. Behind there, gain the purple brown. That's on. Beautiful shot. Nice cut. Still got a lot of work to do. That three is not on. It's got a tough shot. Gee, he's been so good for so long now. Nobody's really touched Marco. No, I know. It's like. No one's really stepped except, up to that level yet. Except Matt's going to a lot of trouble, especially in the eight ball. Nice touch, nice fine cut. Yeah, I think Matt's still kind of finding his feet back into the high level game. You know, he didn't compete for a little while and then now he's come back and starting to practice again. Yeah, it looks like he's starting to enjoy the game. Yeah, he's starting to enjoy playing again and that's, that's what it's about. You'll never do well and accomplish in practice if you don't enjoy what you're doing. Okay, let's see a bit of quick Q power off the side rail, back out towards the orange ball. I oh, know he's had the straight angle to draw back, okay, and he's left himself. A nice angle to crash into that green, but he knows the plant is quite easy, so he'll just go for the plant. Angle, nice touch, nice weight. Yeah, you want to get nice and close to that plant. So this is going to be a little bit tricky here. He has to get that green ball to pop out enough so he does have a shot at it next. He want to sit it on the rail. Yeah, perfect. it pops out perfect, yeah. Okay, back to the middle of the table. It's always knowing... It's always good to know how to get to the middle of the table because a lot of his balls will go through that middle. Like this next shot, he'll punch it through the middle again. Put it in that right side corner or he could draw back. A yeah, nice punch shot to the right hand corner. Perfect. He's back to perfection. Yeah, and the good thing about Marco, he didn't panic when he was 3-1 down. Just be, he was just patient, waited for his time, played the right shots. Now he's ahead, he's on the hill. Yeah, that's that's the thing with Marco, you know, he knows not to panic. He's probably been in much harder situations and much bigger tournaments overseas. Okay, Jeremy, it's time for a timeout. A little bit of a ploy from Jeremy, just to hopefully he can get Marco off his uh, game and his timing and take a toilet break.
Good to see the a lot of juniors qualify this weekend. Yeah, it's good. They're starting to, you know, really come through and starting to make the uh, semis and finals and last 16s, which is good. Yeah, especially, I, I think one of the good performances today was Jack Beggs beating Ronald, Ronald Lopez. Yeah, that was a good win. A 5-1 win. Like, I know Ronald, Ronald's like a... Oh yeah, he's, he's a seasoned professional. You know, he's been around for a while, yeah, one big, of the Filipinos. Yeah, big money player. We also had Marco losing that one game to Cash. Yeah, Cash played well yesterday. Yeah, Chaudre. But he fell short today against Dominic Medico. Okay, straight after this game we'll have our first semi-final, Matt Edwards versus Dino Tangalog. So Marco to break. And yeah, speaking about cash, has not he got a world tournament on at the end of the year as well? Yeah, he he's going to Puerto Rico to play in the world teams. And young Danny Kirkhoven. Yep, Sullivan Clark and Alexandria Andres. Yes, great experience for all those players. That's what they need. They need to see the best in action, not just one professional. They get to see 10 or 20 of them. Nice control break by Marco on the one ball. Two ball looks on. Yeah, it'd be a tight fit if it is on. He's having a close look now. Got his cue in line with the shot. safety and a perfect safety it is. Another aspect game he always works on. Not just potting balls. Yeah, he knows even though he's two frames ahead on the hill he still wants to to always take the percentages. Yeah, drive that final nail in the coffin. Makes contact. I think he might have got away with it. No, I think it's just on. It looks like it's just on. Hard to see, but he's having a close look. There you go, folks. Here's the angle. He can definitely hit yeah, it might be. Yeah, it might be. I think he's going to spin it in. No, he's going to kick. Kick and stick. No, he's spinning it in. Wow, well, nice. Here's the challenging shot here. Three ball in the corner. Back to the little table. Yeah, the thing is, playing this, you know, he has to just play it like pocket weight. Yeah. Or he could play it hard and go back to his hand, where his hand is on the table. Back out. Well, see, that's the thing, you know, playing it soft, it wasn't really the shot. It's always going to leave him a shot like this on if he missed. Still tough out here for Jeremy. Four to the five is the key. He's got a good angle to get back behind it. Yeah, this is definitely a chance he needs to take. Yeah, it's still not over yet. If he can get the next frame, put a bit of pressure on Marco. Yeah, it'll be his break as well. Yeah, he's behind it. That's not bad. Might be able to put the seven here. A little nudge off the one, kick the seven in. I think it's too fine here. 
Yeah, I think that's what he's looking at. No, I don't like that shot. First of all, he has to... Uh, find a jigger, the right one. There it is, they have it on table two. The moose. Yeah, the yeah, good old moose head. Yeah, I wonder what he's going to play here. Well, he can't really grab enough of that white ball, I think. Oh, yeah, he's grabbing a lot of bottom, so he's going to double it out and try and sit in behind the brown ball. Maybe go for the double. That's not bad. Is it on? I don't think so. Oh, I think it is. He just shakes his head. Yeah, it is. It's played well, Jeremy. Yeah, you got to give it to him, you know. He had a good start, but then just kind of, kind of fell off a little bit. Yeah, that, I think the one mistake where he couldn't get from the two to the three earlier in the match. Yeah, when Marco had to play that deliberate foul. Yeah. Yes. Could have went four one up, but anyway. There it is. Looks like it's all over, folks. Okay, we're going to bring you the matchup between Matt Edwards and Dino Tungalog. Nice angle to draw back past the middle pocket. Yeah, perfect. He wanted to be a bit further, so now he might have to go up and down the table. We'll just take the easy shot there, just a little draw, cheat the pocket, hold the white ball. No, he's playing the three rail shot. We even screw and use two rails. To the middle, there you go, one, two, always a bit short. But he should be okay, that's nice. That's good. A little bit short, but okay for a player of his caliber. Well, he's looking to place that foot in the right place. His first foot. Everything aligned. There it Makes is. Makes it look easy. The gunslinger, 6 yeah. three over Jeremy Ho. Yeah, well done, Jeremy. Another experience. And OK, folks, we'll be back in a couple of minutes with Matt Edwards and Dino Tagalo.
Okay, welcome back, folks, to the Massé Club in Pukekohe. We are live with the Auckland Open Predator New Zealand 9-Ball Tour. A match up here is the semi-final between Dino Tangalog and Matt Edwards. And beside me, I haven't got my uh, partner in crime, but I have got a young gun here, Sheridan Burmester. Hey, everyone. How's everyone doing? For the lag, Matt looks like Dino's bit Matt Edwards and that for the lag. Okay, so you've seen the last eight match in the last round between Marco Teutsche and Jeremy Ho. This is now a semi-final match. Still a race of six. 
So you have to perform pretty, you know, straight away. Yeah, Dino made the wing ball there. Shot on the one. Yeah, and this guy here, he plays a lot of pool, you know. You'll see him in the pool room virtually two or three times a week, maybe even more. Yeah, Dino's, Dino's always there, especially when Newlin was open. He was there. Every time I'd go in for practice, he'd be there. Yeah, and this game's taken off. Years ago, he'd make the odd mistake, but now he seems to hardly make a mistake. Look at that. Yeah, that's look, perfect. Look at that shot. Wow. Mm. So Matt's got a game on his hands. Yeah, but I'm sure Matt will approach this game a lot like Marco just did. You know, just wait, wait his time. Yeah, just hang in there. It's all about patience in this game. One mistake could make like that. That there looks like a slight mistake. Wow. He had a good opportunity here to be perfect on all the balls, but now he's got a tough five. Yeah, wow. he's missed that. Golden opportunity here for Matt. Just put the one ball first. Punches it in really good to yeah. perfection. Yeah, nice shot there. Okay, and it's pretty much the same shot, but back the other way. Another punch shot. End up in the middle of the pocket, I mean middle of the table. The ball will end up in the middle pocket, no doubt. There you go, middle of the table. Look at that nice fast frame. One nil probably to Matt Edwards. Yeah, don't blink, blink folks, and he's had a good run at the moment. A lot of his scores today have been 6-0, 5-0, Yeah, Matt's going strong, you know. You can tell he's starting to practice again and put in a lot of time. Yeah, and you know, a lot of the finals lately have been uh, Matt Edwards and Marco Teutsch, and Marco's still got to get past the other young gun. Yeah, Henry, Henry yeah. Newman, you know, he's playing really well as well, you know. Him and Jeremy, I think, have been practicing together a bit before they go away to Austria. Yeah, if uh, anybody has been playing a lot of pool, it's all these juniors. And they're starting to come through with the goods, starting to show. And like I say, once they get a couple of wins under their belts, they're going to be dangerous all the time. They've got that feeling, they've got that winning edge. And they know how to win. It's got to work on a lot of, probably comes down to their mental game and their experience. Yeah, and it's about having matchups with Marco Teutscher, you know, like Jeremy's just played Marco, now Henry's going to play Marco. You know, those games are the games that, you know, they really make you think about things. Yep, they always, you know, there always comes a time where you lost the game. You know, and like people think playing professionals are hard, but like, if you watch how they play first hand against you, then it's a lot, you learn a lot. Also being in the game, you need that experience. Yeah. And having these juniors traveling a lot, that's what gives them experience, you know? Going overseas, being in high pressure situations. Oh, it's a bad miss. Hang on, hasn't stopped yet. He got away with it. Okay, Max has a look for the twos on. It could be on just past six ball, which is a green one. Let's see. Another guy that takes all the right options. He's just lost the cue ball a bit there. Yeah, the only reason because he had to hit that two ball thin and he couldn't really control it. I'm sure it'll come with a good safety though. I think he has the edge of it. Yeah, the thing is, if it is on for the double and he does pot it, then he's got a tough four. Sometimes you go for the safety and you accidentally do pot that ball. And now you've got a tough shot. Stephen Lyell. International referee. Oh, that's an uh, ugly kiss there. Yeah, just nudged that corner of the middle pocket and left Dino with a pretty
Pretty easy, four, five. Three, four, and five. Yeah, it's pretty open out here. Yeah, the six. Get down from the five to the six is a little bit of a challenge. So I'll leave this up a slight angle here, roll forward a little bit. Yeah, even stop it there, you know, you can draw straight back down the table. Yeah, you don't want too much angle, that's when it gets tricky. But yeah, maybe just a little stun run through, like a ball. Yep. Yeah, pretty much all of it. No, he's on the wrong side. Yeah. He's on the wrong side, folks. Now you're going to have to see a TV shot. So he has to play with a little bit of spin to get into position on the six. So he's playing with some right spin. Nice. Oh, is he going to snoop himself behind the nine? No, he gets around yeah, it. Just going to wow. get there. And it's that spin that got him there. Oh, he's missed that. Somebody could be taking me out to dinner tonight. Or shouting me dinner, I should say. Nice angle. Yeah, he's on the right line as well. Yeah. yeah just come just down. Be, yeah, try and land straight on the black and then just play Stop shot, really. Yeah, just got to watch out for the uh, middle pocket for the white ball. Yeah, perfect. Nice yeah, and nice straight. angle too. Nice angle too to just run in and come off the rail. Yeah, just stun forward. Oh no, it looks like he's going oh yeah, to run through. Or punch. Oh. Just like that, yeah. Yeah, but still didn't give him the exact perfect line. It was 2 0 to Matt Edwards. Okay, so the next semi final will be between Henry Newen and Marco Teutcher. And then after that, we'll have the final. This is the first semi final, so whoever wins this is in the final. Playing for some nice cash today. Yeah, some good money. In. Oh, mate. Yeah. And how much is the uh, Oceana 9 ball worth? Well, I know there's... Approximately. Approximately with the entry fees as well. If they get to fulfill it, I'm thinking about, you know, 60,000 60, New Zealand maybe. Yeah, so all you good snooker players that think you, you know, know how to play some Q sports, be worthwhile just having to go at 9 ball. Yeah, you Definitely. Know, entry fees only $200 New Zealand. I'd like to sponsor a couple of players, and if they win, I get half. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's a couple of good snooker players that I know that could make the, you know, make the field. It's got the qualities to make, make it deep into the tournament. But you're also getting the top Australians coming over. Yeah, I've seen uh, Justin Sage, James Jordi Artist, Alex, Alex Evernardis. Is he in the field as well? Yep, they're all in the field, I've seen. I think the field's half full right now, with two months to the tournament. I know one thing that the Australians haven't got, I don't think. That's the Predator Tables. No, I think the closest thing they have is Diamonds. Yeah, Diamonds, well, they play just as good. Okay, a nice open table here for Matt. Just needs to navigate the ball around the table, doesn't have to hit any clusters open. Straightforward, tough shot first off, but Jeez, you just have to play this with a little bit of left spin. Left spin, pot the two and come exactly where the white ball is now. But I think he's looking at another route. Yeah, it is a touchy little shot if you yeah. do play it with spin. And you have to bridge over that nine ball as yeah, well. Yeah, that's the hard part. So he's just going to let the white ball go, I'd say. There you go, he's let it go. Is there any luck in it? No luck at all, but I don't like Dino's next shot, folks. He's going to be playing out of a snooker. Matt will just touch this, play the percentage, push the three ball past the nine and sit the white ball in behind the nine. Oh, hang on. Could be the other way around. Oh, no, he's played that shot, yep. Still left a little bit of distance right 
Sheridan. Yeah, Dino's hitting the jump cue, I yeah. think. So just imagine if he didn't have that jump cue, he'd have to play off a couple of rails to hit that three ball. Yeah, exactly. But, you know, jump cues have been in the game of nine ball since it started, so. Yeah, I think it would be, it would be too hard to take them out, I think. Definitely, yeah. A lot of people invested in jump queues and uh, they aren't cheap. No, Just not. as expensive as the uh, playing queue. Yeah. Okay, the, where's that four ball going? I think it might be going in the middle pocket. We can just see a gap there or screw back. Oh, yeah, he has played it in the middle pocket. Well, I probably would have gotten behind it, yeah. run it down the rail. Could have got it a bit closer than where yes. he did anyway. He's having a look if the five ball's on past the six ball, so he's going to draw this back. Sit on the rail with the white ball, he needs to sit that white ball on the rail. Oh, hang on, a little bit of luck. It. Wow. Be happy with that. And back to three all. Nice, done out to the middle, stay in the middle of the table. Oh, he hasn't got enough angle here. He's on the wrong side. I want to see a big drawback here, Sheridan. Yeah. Running what? forward will leave him a short shot on the black to the opposite side, but he might be able to punch it. I reckon he's just going to stun into that rattle and see what he can get out of it. Yeah, punch. Oh, no, the drawback was the shot. Yeah, that's a nice, that's shot. A nice TV shot there, folks. How's that for a screwback? Using the Mez Q. A lot of the top pros use the Predators now. Yeah. Nice stroke, nice touch. Oh, has he gone far enough? Yeah, I think he's good. Pretty good. Yeah, pretty good. Still a tough shot. you got to avoid that middle pocket as well. Yeah, draw it back to his hand. Nice touch draw. Beautiful. 3-0, Matt Edwards. He's in some good form. Yeah, well, he did get away with that four ball in this frame. You've got to remember, he did fluke it. Yep, been one of the best players in NZPA pool for the last 15, 20 years. Yeah, I think he has 20 national titles. Stephen Lyle, our international referee. Yeah, he's doing a great job. Yeah, and you sort of need that player here to push them through that time clock and, you know, yeah. make them play. You know, instead of just implementing a shot clock when things are getting slower, it's better just to have a nice consistency. So we've got the juniors next weekend. I don't know if we're going to live stream that those games, but, um, yeah, the juniors are next weekend, which will be a good... Yeah, I think it's the last one. Last Good day of the year. year. Great spectacle to look forward to watching all those young juniors play. Nice, oh, unlucky there. Could this be the turning of the game? One little mistake like that can change the game, can change the patterns, can change the uh, rhythm. Two in the middle is the shot. I don't know what he's looking at here. Push the five out. Probably push that five. No, that five's okay where it is. Yeah, I think just a stop shot. Nice shot. Just got to be careful of the middle pocket. And the snooker on the black. Yeah, he doesn't need to come out that far. You know, the four's kind of automatic. Yeah, just has to hold the white ball here. He's got around the black. Just. Okay, once he comes straight down the table, he could play two rails to get himself an angle. Yeah, you don't want to land straight on that five. No. Worst thing you can do in pool is land straight on a ball. Because the only way you got is forward or backwards. The only ball you want to land straight on is the last one. See, and this could be a little bit straight here for Dino. Yeah, this is too straight. He's potting well, but he's just not leaving himself the right angles. 
it's better to have more angle than not enough. Definitely. Okay, he might have to do a deep screw back here. Get himself a good angle on the six ball. Yep, there you go. He's loading it up. Lots of bottom. Okay, that's good enough. That's a good angle. But a tough shot now. So only two more games left, folks. The next semi-final and the final. It's been a great weekend of nine ball. It's good to see nine ball back because a lot of luck is involved in nine ball. Yeah, definitely. We can see it right here in this match. Okay, could he go back behind the nine ball out into the open? Nice Good shot. shot there. Okay, he's got a great angle here. Get to the middle of the table again. Forward, two rails. Beautiful. He's got a nice feel of the table now. Yeah, Matt settled into this match really quickly. He just wants a nudge just before the middle pocket. There it is. Oh no. Probably one of our most experienced players, New Zealand bred. Yeah, definitely. Plenty of experience overseas. Yeah, the only other player that I can think of that's born in New Zealand at that level is Sullivan. Yeah, well, Sullivan's coming along good. And again, Messi helps him out as well. Yeah, he's already back in America. Playing the, uh, the Racks Open, I think. It was like a warm-up event that they were hosting before the U.S. Open. Didn't he beat one of the Filipinos, the top one of the top guns? Yeah, I haven't really looked at any of the results from it. I think they're down to the last four over there now. Jose, I think he beat. Jose. Oh, yeah. Okay, Matt smashes it out to a 4-0 lead. Dino needs to win this frame here to stay in tune. Wow, that one ball goes close. Yes, he has got the eight ball. Got a shot. Okay, just got to run in order. One to nine. Lowest ball always first. Very easy game to learn. Like I said, a lot of those snooker players out there will adapt quickly to this game. He's got a bit of a funny angle here, though. Should be able to still hold the ball. Yeah, you played that nice. Yeah, the seven's still a bit tricky. That's one of the hardest spots where the seven ball is on, on a nine foot table. Yeah, I prefer to land on the short side of it. Yeah, get around behind it. Yeah. Yeah, striking the ball really good, Dino. It's good to see him deep into this tournament. Oh, no, 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 no. I think he might have just got away with it. No, the jump cue comes out, folks. So a few more weeks, you know, a lot of the uh, top players will be travelling overseas. Good luck to them. Marco in the US 9-ball open in a couple of weeks' time. Yeah, Sullivan will be in that too. Yeah, Sullivan there as well. It's a shame we couldn't have a few more juniors over there playing that tournament. That's a good shot by Dino. Does he get away with it? Yes, he does. Well, it could be off the 7. No, I don't think so. No, I think the seven's just but a little I, bit too far up the rail. Yeah, I think the six might be just on. Just got to be careful if, it, if he does take it on and pushes that brown ball away from the... Extension. 
Well, he's getting out the jump queue too. Well, what's he got to jump over the nine? Well, he is snookered by the nine. Mr. Singleton entered yet? Into is he the concentrating uh, on to the Oceania. Yes. No, I haven't seen him entered yet. No doubt he would will be there. I'd say. Oh, there it is. That was the shot he had to watch out for. Hitting the edge of the six ball straight and off. Okay, chance for Dino to get back in the game. Look at that, that was really risky, moving the white ball around with the tip. Because the referee could call a foul. Yeah, you got to make sure you're always using your shaft. Mm. There it is, 4-1. Dino gets on the board. Yeah, like I said, he's potting well. He just needs to take all his chances. Stephen Noel, our international referee. from the same country as Mr. Yep. Oh, Aloysius Yep. Yes. Yeah. He has refereed quite a few of his games. Got a lot of photos he showed me of. Oh, so he's from um, Singapore. Yes. Great by Matt. Yeah, shot on the two. Yeah. Everything's out in the open. Yep, three to the four is just the hard part. <coughs> Otherwise, yeah, still up and down the table. Needs to come up the table for the three, down for the four. Try and screw back to the middle of the table. Perfect weight, there's a two straight. Could be two straight, so he has to just run forward. I think he's got a little bit of angle to get behind the four. Yeah, that's a weird angle, I think. You gotta, you gotta uh, make sure you get behind the four and not into it. Oh no, he hasn't got an angle to get behind it, but he is behind it now. No, he played good, that's the right shot. Yeah. Don't try to force anything, just play, your sh play the short side if you have to. Gonna play backwards off two rails towards the five ball. Nice line towards the five ball. Perfect. Okay, this is the key to winning the frame here. What sort of angle will he leave himself on the six? Just get anywhere near the middle. Middle of the table is good. Then you'll have options. Oh, that's perfect. That's perfectly on the right side of the six ball. Nice. Shot of the day. You can just punch up through, head towards the black ball. Yeah, he's perfect. Great line, yeah. Good angle. This is world class ball, folks, at its best. Got two players on the house that does this quite consistently. Okay, I'd go to the, which way would you go, Sheridan? To the right or behind it? I'll go behind it. I'd go on the left side as we're looking here. Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah, always run into position is the best way. Because you can feel the weight. Easier to run forward than backwards. Well, Five what one. do you know? Yeah. So today he's only lost two frames since the last 32. Yeah. Pretty good. Yeah, it's a, it's a nice performance. <laughs> I 
Next game up, Henry Nguyen, Marco Torture. Henry beating his dad, Tone, in a close match. Six four. That one has hit that draw like three or four times. Okay, so Matt hasn't got a shot here. A nine ball, straight after the break, he can push out. Yeah, Dino should be should be looking where that one's hitting. Yeah, three times. Because if you if you're hitting above the middle pocket, then you're hitting it too thick. And if you hit it below, then you're hitting it too thin. Yeah, three times he's hit that point. Yeah, so he should be knowing to hit it maybe a little bit. A little bit. Yeah. Okay, he ain't going to hand the shot back. So he could have handed that shot back to Matt if he wished. Oh, he's got away with it. Okay, does Matt bring out the jump gear? I'd say so. Um, Matt going to kick at it. Ooh, a little bit of a risky going between that. Black and green ball. But what do I know? Great shot. Scratch. No, okay. he's off. Yeah, nice kick. Okay, these two will just spar until, until they get control of that one ball. So another safety play coming up here by Dino. Nine ball. Oh no, Nine look ball. at this, look at this, look at this. Wow. Ball and play. Can I call ball and play? <laughs> what if I'm at the table and it drops in? Who wins? It's respotted. Oh man, I'd just probably put that eight onto the uh, nine ball and let Dino run out. Way too risky. Even if he hits it, Dino's going to have a shot. One nine combination. I'll make the white ball head towards that nine. Well, hang on, it could be on. Yeah, it's on. Oh, look at that. And now that, what? Yeah, you can screw back onto that nine. Yeah, even Another though... Another TV shot. Even though you want to run out, you know, that nine's always going to be in the back of your mind. And I don't think that two's on past the five. I think he might try it and screw back. Two-way shot. I'll be going for the draw back onto the nine. Yeah, Watch yeah, out for yeah. the white white ball to follow the nine in. No, he's going percentages. Wow. What oh, a nice shot. Up. That was a nice shot past the five. Will he run this out? Will he well, push, he has will to. He, will he push the four? Well, he could pop the nine here now. No. <laughs> could have pushed nah. the four to the rail and nah. tried to cut it onto it. He's confident in his, in his ability to run out. Great angle. This is the shot here. Five to six. Probably put the six in the same pocket. Well, he could just land under it. Yeah, and, and put the six that onto the nine. Nah, I'd go six in the same pocket. Trust your ability. Hang on. Oh. Wow. <laughs> yeah, you got away what with a that. shot, yeah. Still got a hard finish. This is the money ball here, I'd say. Watch your white ball go straight up the middle of the table and straight back down for the seven. Yeah, oh, that was the money start. ball. Easy frame. So this whole frame comes down to next frame. <laughs> Easy frame for Dino. Yeah, he was pretty much all over the place in that last couple of balls. Had to get behind the six, but I think your way would have been better, eh? Just get behind the six, put the six onto the nine. Yeah, well, you only had to really run the run the five in. You know, if you ran, once you run the yeah. five in, then you know you're going to be naturally going behind that six. Yeah, but he also had the ability to finish that off, get behind the six in the same pocket, and then it was all over. But when it nudged that six and Put that funny angle on the six into the middle. Yeah, he was just a bit chasing, you know. Mm. Trying to chase the finish one. Yeah, let it sometimes, come to you. Sometimes you have to look at things maybe a little bit more simpler. Yeah, you should just let it come to him. And yeah, your shot would have been the better. Just punch him behind the six and play it onto the nine. Yeah. Unless you get a chance at it. But then he could have used those other two balls, the three and four, to get that nine in. Yeah, he could have played the three, run forward and push yeah. the, the four over and then <laughs> easy combination as well. 
Yeah, but he was back in his ability, which is good to see. Okay, so that went really high, the one ball Sheridan. Yeah, so we hit it way too thick. Okay, here we go, Dino. Yeah, it's, it's natural angle here to go around the four. Yep, two rails. Yeah, see there's that natural line. Nudge. Oh, he missed it. Okay, let's see how good a safety play is. You could have a good safety game in nine ball as well. There's yeah. no pocket for that one ball. But no the safety the safety shot. It's a good safety shot, pretty good. Yeah, he's got him behind that four. Still the three, yeah, two to three is pretty good. Four, five, six, seven to the eight is tricky. It's worth it, yeah. yeah. Oh, I fell. Okay, so what does Matt do here? I think he just plays one, one rail across. What about one screw into the, uh, oh yeah, he's coming across the table. Coming past the nine into position. Down the bottom of the table, nice shot. Now he's running forward towards the three. Has he got enough? He's got too much angle there. Yeah, he wanted to be a bit straighter on that. Okay, this is going to be a, just a touch shot, maybe run into the three. He's going to pull a lot of spin on this. Oh no, just on, just on, I'd say. Yeah, yeah. by the looks of it, it's on. A little bit of right spin to head towards the four ball. Want to sit in the middle of the table. Wants an angle so he can get back to the orange ball. Okay, so this is where he's just going to play basic pull. Follow through. Five in the long rail. It's going to end up tricky here. It's going to end up with a two-way shot, you know, in the middle or the corner. A little bit short, but still should be okay. Got a little bit too much angle here, so if he pots this and goes back towards the bottom rail, we see the predator sign. He wants to hang around there somewhere after this. Plays that nice. Nice shot. A lot of work to still be done. Seven to the eight is not easy. Wants to be straight on the seven ball, and he is. Two straight. Okay, so he's got a hard eight ball after this. He's going to be playing the white ball off the rail. There you go, there's the hard eight ball I was talking about. He looks, yeah, he looks he's a got a good straight. angle too. He's, no, he's got a little bit of an angle. I think you have to force it though. I'll just stroke it through. Nice, nice. And another hard nine. <laughs> Oh no. Oh, there then. you go folks, what a nine, what a nine to finish off the game. Matt Edwards due to the final of the Auckland Open nine ball. Okay, folks, we're up with uh, Marco and Henry in two minutes. Two minutes' time. Let's get it underway. Thank you for watching. We'll be back.
Uh, I like the SP2 because one, the wrap goes all the way down. Um, the design is elegant. It's not too much, it's not too little. You know, color scheme looks really nice. And then the 12.9 Revo just fits on there perfect. So to actually go through the process and see how every shaft is made and how they can uh, tweak it this way or tweak it that way. or So it's, it, the process is incredible and just being able to understand it and have trust that it's made the right way and you know it's formed this way every single time when you need it. It's just, it's like uh, having a little coach on your shoulder while you're playing. Okay, welcome back folks to the Predator New Zealand Nine Ball Tour Auckland Open. We are live at Masai Pukekohe and we've got a match between Marco Teutsche and Henry Nguyen. Okay, next to me I haven't got my uh, main man in the box this week, Mark the Mouth Watson, but I have got a young gun with the world of pool at his feet, young Sheridan Burmester. Hey guys. Got a good game coming up here. Marco Teutsche versus another young junior, Henry Nugent. Yeah, so these young juniors have got no fear at all. They don't care who they play. They just pot balls like a stroll in the park. Marco seems to be struggling with that break. Maybe he needs some lessons, eh? Yeah. Need to give him some coaching. Uh, his break will come right. Uh, I think the last time he broke, he did get a couple of one balls in that middle pocket. But they seem to be going a little bit, just a little bit high. Yeah. Maybe it's because of the uh, where the ref is. Well, look at that. Look at the spin on that. Yep. Now he has to go up and down the table again. Oh no, he can play into the middle of the table. He might have a line to go into that nine or the eight to hold. Yeah, young Henry. Oh, yeah, go into the air. Crash into the eight and nine, yeah. Nice spot in there. Oh, but you got to pot the two there, Henry, and you can't afford to give Marco a chance like that. You have to take those opportunities. That's probably one of the keys to beating Marco or putting him under pressure. Those golden opportunities that arise, you must take them. That was an easy out for him too. Look, the four connects to the five and six, seven, eight, easy. Marco will just make sure he hits this two ball. Referee Stephen Lyle putting the time clock on him, which is great. Look at this. Oh, wow. So another golden opportunity here for Henry. And he beat his dad, Tone, to make it to, through to this semi-final. Wonder we'll meet Matt Edwards in the final. This is definitely the opportunity you have to take. You know, you've got away with two chances now. Yeah, just don't snook yourself, Henry. No, he's high on the three ball. Good angle here to come towards that four ball. That's the key to pull, or good nine ball, or any sort sort of cue sports, is leave yourself the right angle. Then you don't have to work that hard. Just when you're yeah, when you're off angle, then you've got to work harder. To play some, you know, a lot more TV shots. Throw forward here. A nice line to come down the table. Oh, wow. That was a nice punch shot. A nice little couple of mills forward of that nine ball. Nearly snookered himself. Okay, middle of the table. A lot of the young kids I coach always show them how to get to the middle of the table no matter what angle you have or what pot you have, you should always know how to get to the middle of the table. See, anywhere in the middle of the table you can pot this next ball. Anywhere in the middle of the table you can pot the nine or the eight. So always learn how to get to the middle of the table. Yeah, he just has to pot the six. He yeah, just done across, go in front of the black. Oh, he's got a little bit too much power. Man, is this another mistake? Youch. Yeah, well. Yeah, he needs, yeah, one thing about Henry is that his weight needs to learn to just play a couple more touchier shots. Yep. Yeah, he's got all the attributes for a good nine ball player. And he's one of them, the jump shot. There you go. What do we know? How is that, folks? Perfect. 
Okay, three rails to the middle of the table or he can just play the sh soft shot and leave himself a long nine, but a good play will just slot this in, three rails. No, he might play two rails with screw. Yeah, or that, that shot there, but three rails easy, always run into position. There it is, perfect. Middle of the table, what do you know? There you go, one just nine. like that, yeah. Now if we can keep that pressure up, the gunslinger might miss, might fire blanks. But no Marco hardly does. As I said, he's been, uh, he's had a, here we go again folks, a jump shot, replay, and perfect position. He's had a good run lately, Marco. He's won quite a few tournaments, come second in a couple to Matt Edwards, and we could see them too. Yeah, he won the National 8 ball in Dunedin. That's that, right. That completed the trifecta of all three national titles this year. Gee, he won't need to work. He just needs to win that, uh, the big one coming up. The Oceana. Be good to see the Australians here. Welcome to all the Australians that are tuning into this match here. Trying to find some weaknesses that Marco does possess, but he hasn't shown them lately. I think the only way you've got to beat Marco is put him under pressure. Get a head start. Okay, he ended up a bit short on that. Yeah, scratch. That was a little bit softer, eh? That one ball went really short. Yeah, he's hit Maybe because of pace. He's hit it too thin. Or maybe... A little yeah. bit softer too than what, you know, everyone else is sort of hitting the mat. Yeah, I think if you, <coughs> hit, it, if you hit it harder, you can hit it a bit thinner. But okay. If you, if you hit it thin and too soft, then no, it doesn't work. And behind the five down the for the two ball. Has he got enough weight on it? No, he hasn't. Oh. Uncharacteristic mistake there by Marco. Could have been a little bit harder. It would have been perfect. Three to the four is okay. Just five to the six looks a little bit tricky. Okay, parallel shift. Find the middle of the pocket. Parallel shift again, find the middle of the white and the two. Just shift it. You can Google that technique, parallel shift. And that's what you get. Oh, this is a tricky situation here. You might be able to sneak behind that five ball, I think. Yeah, it's a hard, hard safety, honestly. Yeah, the thing is, well, if he does play that three, he wants that three in front of the nine ball and the white ball behind the uh, five ball. Doesn't want to leave that three in the open. No, he's going for another option. Screw back in behind the six. No, uh, selected go behind the five. Well, that's just a gimme. Was it because the uh, ref called the time? Yeah, I think he was. Pressured for shot. Two minds there. Still looking at Marco, it doesn't affect them in any way. He's showing no emotion at all, but inside it's burning. Yeah, this is another oh, key hang, on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. How is that? Another golden opportunity, and this is the thing, folks, we talk about. Let's give him Marco that that chance to get back in the game. He's made the one mistake now. He's going to get rewarded for it, I'd say. Just handed it back. He's got to slow down a bit, Henry. If he slows down and focuses on get into one position on the table, or one point on the table, be more consistent. The 
thing with Marco too, you can get into the, the state of uh, focus where, you know, you probably could jump around in front of him and he wouldn't see you. Yeah, he just blocks everything out, you know, all that. Yeah. To him, any, the only thing that's in this room is the balls and the table. That's right, and you can never, yeah, never get him off his game. Unless by getting ahead. Just everything he, how he approaches the game, look at those eyes, you know, really focused. Great angle. Get to the nine. Any which way. Stun across the table. Into position. Yeah, that's the thing with, you know, comparing all players to Marco, his focus is he can just fall into that focus sort of, uh, what'd you call it? It's just a high level, I guess. It's like a, it's a different level of focus yeah, than the average person has. Yeah, it's just a state of mind, you know, how he just falls into that. You can see it in his eyes, how well he's focused. That's what a lot of our uh, juniors need to learn, how to get into that state. Yeah. Where you could be, you know, somebody could be running around the table, you wouldn't see him. Nah. That's one of the uh, differences in his game and the rest of them. Matt has got that ability, I've seen of Matt a lot, and so is the other one is Sullivan. Yeah, Sullivan mentally, I think Sullivan's really... Marvin as well, Marvin Drago is another player that can fall into that state. Yeah, definitely. You know, all those high-class players, Tone. There, yeah, there you go, yeah. Okay, and if he's got an open table like this, he hardly misses. I'm gonna tough shot first up. If he can pot this ball, it's all over. One ball. So in his mind, this is the main ball to pot to win the game, or win the match or frame, I should say. One good pot here. Put everything into this one pot. Now he can relax. Yeah. He knows he's home now. Everything's there for him. Yeah, he doesn't have to move that white ball very far. But even if he does, he has all the shots for it. That's why he's called the gunslinger. For this shot here, quite a hard shot because when he does pop this ball, it's heading towards that little cluster, the four and the five. You see, he's gonna see how he changes the line straight up the table. Check that nicely. Yeah, he had a bit of inside English. What Sheridan's talking about? Checking the ball. Straight across the table. Look at the way he plays it, so he ends up off the rail. A lot of other players would have played it at a pace where it sat on the rail. Okay, middle of the table. Wants to be maybe middle or straight, a little bit straighter for the brown ball. And he is, he's perfect. Come off the rail a little bit so he can get off the rail. Well, it's a little bit short here, or straight. Yeah. So he's going to roll forward. Just play the natural eight and nine in the same pocket. Uh, looks like he's punching it. Nice stop shot. Oh, nah, he played the right angle. See how he's left himself just a roll through. Nice weight to put the nine in the same pocket. Great angle. Look at those eyes. Can't hardly see them. But when you do, you're in trouble. Twitch. Yeah, only Henry gave him those two frames. Well, one of them, anyway. Yeah. And again, you can't make mistakes like that. Simple mistakes. Against the gunslinger. <coughs> Steve.
Stephen Lyle, our referee. It's got the magic crack. Nine ball on the spot, on the hit spot. Using the Metro uh, break box format. So he can't go up outside those two dots you see up top of the table as we look at it now. He can't go outside those that dot where the white ball is now and the opposite one where his chalk is. He cannot break outside those dots. Okay, let's see what sort of break he has. He brings the table close. So we're in a little bit short there, Sheridan. Yeah. So a little bit too thin. Great to have our referee there. Matt Edwards in the uh, crowd watching, trying to look for some some tells on Marco what he does wrong, but all hard to find something he does wrong. Yeah, definitely. It's what you got to do right when you play him. Everything has to be perfect. Okay, he's got a tough shot here to get onto the two. I think he's just going to try to go across the table, miss the six ball, come back. Even screw behind the three ball. Yeah, when you load your cue up and hitting the ball harder, well, the pot becomes much harder. Okay, Henry, where's the safety here, Sheridan? Nick the one and sit up and behind the brown and no, blue ball. Yeah, the white can go behind the black. No, nah, that's that's too much distance to get that shot. I'd say. I think if he hits it thin. No, I like I like that shot because you can put you put the one up by the two, seven, yep. nine, yes. and the white's going to be either behind this eight or the four. Yeah, looking at that angle, you're right. That's the right shot to play. There you go. Look at that. Look at that. Give Marco just a little sniff of that edge of the one ball to swerve around and kick into it. And that's where the luck becomes involved with nine ball. Check up on the queue. Hits down on the 11 on the clock. Imagine the 11 at on a clock. Even the nine. Around the 10, 11 o'clock. And that's what you will get. But in saying that, he has fouled, must have touched the eight ball. Another chance for Henry. Yeah, it's a good chance too. One, two, three, fairly straightforward. Roll forward, get a straight shot on the two to screw back for the three. And he wants a white ball right there, so when he does play that three, he can get him behind the four. Too much angle, so he's coming up and down the table. See, that's a bad angle to have because you're going away from your working ball, your four ball. But again, he might be able to just miss that brown ball, play the four ball onto the five ball. Yeah, it's all right with the five over the hole, I think. Yeah, he's going to crash into the brown ball or try and miss it and go around like that. Beautiful shot. Brown ball. Nice. nice shot. Okay, so when he plays this softly, he'd like both of them to go down. So he's got a straight so shot on the six. He can play a stop shot, but might lose the four. You never know what's going to happen. So you want both of them to go down, if possible. Okay, that worked out okay, but still he's got a hard shot to get to the six now. You know he's going into the eight. Yeah. Running away from his work again. He could really punch us in hard and leave himself a long shot. Leave the white ball where the eight is. Might be able to screw off the eight. Yeah, but then he's going to lose that white ball. It's a chance of sliding in behind the nine. But he should be okay. Yeah, draw off the eight ball. Yeah, like yeah nice. Yeah. Okay, he's got two options here. Pop the six, go across the table for seven in the middle. We'll go around behind it. Okay, 
the round behind it for the seven in the middle. Nice shot. Perfect. Centre table. Put a check side, I think he needs. Yeah. Left spin. He's talking about. Plays that nice. Yeah, there's the spin. Yeah, where do you play the nine ball in the middle? With some more inside English. Yeah, or you just some take left spin. You can just take the natural line and put it in the corner. Yeah, a little bit of left spin for the middle pocket. Nice. Play that those last two shots to perfection. With some inside English. Two each. And that's one of the hardest shots to play is the inside English going against the grain. So naturally it should go one way, but you're uh, making it go the other way. One of the hardest shots and a lot of it's a main shot that a lot of the top players try to keep away from. Because you've got to allow for deflection if you haven't got one of the new cues out. Yeah, definitely. Especially with chick side, you know, it's a lot harder to allow for it. All these new, the new equipment that Predator to bring out, less deflection or throw. What other name do they use for deflection or throw? Yeah, mainly it's just low deflection shafts. Mm. That's what they're promoting these days. Everything carbon fibre. Yeah. All the shafts are carbon fibre these days, like all the pros they're using. You still see the odd, you know, wooden shaft there that people don't like to change but they just know the throw yeah especially like the um, a lot of the Asian players <coughs> yeah they like they prefer to play with the wood shaft which are high deflection yeah they like the uh, deflection eh? the people know how much it throws like the Co brothers especially they play with high deflection cues okay we can see a push out here so after the break you can call a push out so he's called a push out and now the incoming player has the option of telling Marco to play again, or he can play it. So it's up to Henry, I'd give the spec. Yeah, I think. No, no, he's having a look at it. He's confident in his pots. Jeez, this could be costly, this one. If he misses this and leaves Marco on, it could be over. Yeah, I'd be giving this back, personally. He's made it, I think. Well. But look at the position he got. Yuck. How spot. unlucky, yeah. How unlucky can you get? Sit right on top of the five. Chinese snooker. Another okay. slow rolling shot he has to play. Better hurry up. It's been called 10 seconds. And he plays it quick. See what that ref there makes a big difference. He could have at least had another few more seconds with that shot, but he knew it was on a 10 second call. Didn't have an extension? Yeah, I think he would have too. Yeah. And that's, you know, I know people want to save their extension for later in the match, but when you look at the balls, that would have been the key shot. You know, then the rest of the balls are quite easy. Yeah, definitely should have called an extension there. Thread the needle, gets through the gap, but an unlucky kiss on the orange ball. And look at the nine, has that moved in front of the four? No, I think he's on. Nah. For the truck through there. Okay, oh wow, that was close. A little bit of luck there. Okay, six to seven, it should be all over. Two rails. Nice. Okay, you can go forward or you can go backwards. You can use the two rails or straight down the table. This is where you need the inside English to follow it through. He does play that nicely. Big bounce. He's got options here. Go in behind it or yeah, above it. Yeah. Look at that line. 
perfect line through the between the eight and the nine. A little bit straight, but he should be able to punch the white ball off the rail. Yeah, just play a stun run through here. Or even the stop shot's good enough, but punch it so it just comes straight out. Nice little stun run. Yeah, great shot. So we'll probably have a lot of uh, overseas players watching Marco and have to try and work out his game. But like I say, there's nothing really much there you can sort of find yeah. that's a weakness. Yeah, there's nothing really, no. And all that comes down to is just time at the table. Three or four hours a day, minimum, I think you'll do. Yeah, I think, yeah, probably three hours now that he works, you know. But he still, you know, finds time after work to go and practice all night. So he's got a, yeah, he's got a strong mental game. He knows how to focus. His playing game is very strong. And also his physical mind is very strong as well. Need to be, you know, you need to also do the hard work physically. Okay, Henry's off to a good start here. One over the pocket, but still a tough shot. So he's probably going to have to punch this in to keep control of the white ball. Looks a little bit straight. So he needs, it looks like he's going to run past, try and miss the pocket, this is where he could miss the ball. All going off, a little bit straight. Yeah, he had to get under it and punch it in. Okay, Marco will just keep everything simple here, run into position, see how he always runs into position his first shot. Above centre and always run into position. One of the shots I always teach these young ones. Draw down for the five. Nice angle, nice angle. So he has to thread the uh, white ball. Probably just get the angle to run into that nine. Got a good angle here just to play the weight. Again, run into position. And he's pretty good. Close shot here. Definitely going to need the riff. Close shot, but he's going to throw it in. Use a lot of spin to hit the six first. Nice shot. Okay, so you'll split the balls here. Play the eight in the opposite corner. Always play a little bit of bottom here. Try and kick it over. split. Okay, any middle pocket he desires. Easier one to run into position again. Nice weight. Again, running forward makes it look easy. Especially when you get the right angles. Becomes very easy. Okay, two more and then we've got uh, the final. Yeah, Matt Edwards in the crowd. Patiently waiting for the winner of this match. Yeah, another thing too, you know, if you get into finals and that, it's good to, if you're feeling a little bit nervy about the other player, sit next to him.
get used to him being around you. So the big end of the year tournament, the Oceana. Yeah, I think that's what everybody's waiting for. And it's probably worthwhile trying to practice for that game or that uh, tournament. Yeah, I'm definitely. I think I'm going to start start the preparation for it soon. Yeah, definitely. You know, you want to just be keeping hitting the white, well, hitting balls from now on in consistently. At least get another hour a day in until you get to near the finals of the tournament. Get near the tournament, then you start putting in more time. You don't want to peak too early. No, it's a nice break. One ball's gone in. Two to three is good. Three to four is good. Nice open table. Come across for the three. Which he holds the white, the white ball. It's got a great angle to sit. Just where the five is. Sit around that area. Nice touch. Use the eight ball to hold the white ball up if you want. And he will use that eight ball, punch into it. Nice stop shot. Into the eight ball. Five and six, maybe in the same pocket. Okay, so he's got options here. Go in behind the nine ball, two rails behind the seven, and four straight on shot into that corner. Yeah, nice line there. Okay, so he just wants to probably uh, sit around the middle and use the two rails, Sheridan. He wants to get a nice angle on the eight just so he can. Yeah, I think he's just going to draw back a bit and leave the angle. Yeah, he can even, even landing straight on the eight. It's yeah, too bad. right where his hand is, that's where he wants the angle. Right yeah. where his hand is. Even if it was a cue ball back to where it was. Oh, no, he's got the two rail shot. Or the inside English, whatever he wants. So he can either play this with left spin or run the ball two rails. He's in between both shots, I think, or even draw back now. It's right in the middle of everything. So you can draw back for the nine in the left corner pocket, or you can use two rails, which is probably the easier one. Yep. Oh, he's going inside English. Yeah, I think that was. Wow! Look at that. Nice. Yeah. Straight forward. But like I say, if you don't practice that shot, you ain't gonna be very consistent. human after all. Yeah, you don't see that very often. Yeah, probably, uh, you know, that inside English did slow the white ball down a bit. Yeah. Whereas the outside two rails would have made it run much faster and he probably would have been riding behind. Because you can play that a heavier weight. Whereas that inside English does slow the ball down a bit. Any help? Nice one ball in the middle. Oh no, he hasn't got a good... 
two ball here, so it could be a push out. Would you rather push out or kick? go down and kick it and hope for the best? I mean, you, you can push out, just maybe touch it where it is and give the option of the same kick to Marco. Okay, it's called a push out. So I think Marco's going to send him straight back in. He's pushed out to the jump shot. Yeah. Okay, I've seen Sullivan do this, give Marco this opportunity once. And he Marco he took jumped. It. <laughs> yeah, it was ho -ho. yeah, it was ho ho. Marco took it and broke, uh, jumped and then ran out. Yeah. Okay, he had his cue ready. He knew he was going to get it back. So that's a nice push out. Just got to execute this part of the game to make it worthwhile. Because if he misses. He's got away with it though. Yeah, wow. And that's a luck of nine ball, folks. Now, if Marco gives Henry an opportunity after this, he has to take it. Yeah, to make it fall, and that puts the pressure back on Marco. Yeah, nice hit straight in the face of the two ball. Spin. Okay, a bit of cat and mouse here. Who has the best safety? We'll win this. That's a nice safety there. He's made Ooh. it. Wow. <laughs> Two lucky shots going his way. And that's the uh, the beauty of nine ball. A lot of luck is involved. He's going to stay down and pop this ball now. Yeah. He will too, you know. He's put him pretty good. Nice, nice angle here, ball. yeah. To get back to where he is standing. Or he could run forward, but to where he's standing is probably the best shot. Best angle. So he wants to play bottom at the imagine seven on the clock. Oh, he's missed oh it. wow. And he's got away with it? No, nah, not this time. So yeah, just those opportunities, yeah. those, those little opportunities that he's missing. He's playing to get good position and then he just can't seem to get there. But he will learn off this game because you know, he knows he's been close, he's been right in the game. Two rails for Marco, maybe three. Uh, perfect weight, watch out for the in off, Marco. He's right away from it. Look, how's that for weight? Nice angle as well. Yeah, to stop it there for the six in the middle. Looks like it. Yeah, he wants to try and get as close as possible to that six because he doesn't want to play a long. Six in the middle where it's a tough shot, but now watch him punch it forward. Just roll towards that six. Is it a little bit too much? It's yeah. okay. So now he's got an angle that it's going to go in behind the seven. Not just straightforward run out now. It's a little bit of positional play here behind the seven for the opposite corner. Wow, he played that off the eight. That's the Anton Rada shot. Yeah, that he missed. Yeah, he missed that to win the uh, European Open. Okay, a bit of right spin. Go straight across the table and back out for the eight ball. Watch the white ball. Look at that. Play that to perfection. Okay, now we can just draw this back. A little bit of angle there, but they call it cheat the pocket and it'll come straight back into line on the nine ball. So you can hit this a little bit fuller instead of the natural angle. Because two balls can fit in that middle pocket. Nice. I'm sure he definitely won't be missing this nine. Nope. Jeez, we're going to have a good final here, Sheridan. Five three to Marco, <coughs> and it's still early day. It's still f nearly three thirty, and we'll be in our final by three thirty, I'd say. 
Und we have final. So don't go anywhere, folks. So how are you uh, picking the final? How is it going to go, Sheridan? Honestly, I'm, I'm, not, <laughs> I'm not sure. Like, <laughs> Come on, mate. Make a statement. It's all right. You can hurt Marco and say you want to pick Matt. It's going to be a close match, you know. I think, I think Marco's breaking better. Matt, Matt did hit the, the one quite quite high. And Dino wasn't running out at all and giving him lots of chances. Yeah, well, and if then, you... But then Matt's performance today has been pretty strong. You know? Yeah, it's going to be a close match. It's going to be a close game. So Marco misses the one again there. You know, if you give this opportunity to Matt, you know, he runs out. Yeah, that, this rivalry between Marco and Matt we're going to see around for quite a while. It's already been here for the last five or six years. Yeah. It's just resurfaced. It's good to see other rivalries coming up though, like especially in the junior scene. You know, Jeremy Ho, Henry Nugan. You know, they're developing a rivalry in the under-19s. Yeah, well, look at this. We've got young Henry in the uh, semis playing one of the best players worldwide. Yeah, definitely. He's just been unlucky quite a few times, eh? He's had opportunities and just look at himself. I think the one that really hurt him is when he only had three balls on the table and he ended up snooking himself under behind one of them. Yeah. That's what really hurt him. Okay, another jump shot. What sort of jump cue has he got there, Sheridan? It's the cue tick. Q tick jump Q. This could have been that could have been his last shot. Yeah, I think it was. That's the last shot folks I'd say. But he has put up a good performance. And he has already made their finals uh well, made it to the semis. Okay, so there's a lot of angle on this for Marco to go across the table, but he's also got another shot where you can hold the white ball, watch if it hardly moves. He's either going to make it move or hardly move. Like that. That was a perfect hold shot. Yeah, nice angle as well. Another thing you've got to teach these young players is how to hold the ball. Okay, it could be uh, six in the same pocket. Seven, eight, nine would be quite easy if he gets to the six. Yeah, cheated the pocket nicely there. And he's straight on the six, so he can do a lot of things with this ball. He can run two rails, run down the table and back out towards the seven, or just stop it there. Hold it, hold it, use the nine to hold it, but it looks like he's running forward. Nice, well. Wow. Okay, so he wants to stay high on this eight ball. Either stay high or sit on the rail. He likes the... Again, he likes to run into position, but he's going to probably stay out. Yeah, just play a stop shot here, just come out, come out a little bit. Yeah, use the angle on the eight to get down towards the nine. A little bit of right spin, come into the middle of the table. Nice. Okay, another shot, roll into position. He's got the natural angle here to run forward. Off the long rail and straighten behind the nine. So we'll load it up with a little bit of left spin off the long rail and yeah, perfectly into position. Perfect. And there you go, folks. It just shows how much time he's been putting in. And it's starting to pay off. And hopefully, it'll pay off. And the nine ball US Open, and he brings back the green jacket. Yeah. He's always been talking about it. Yeah, that's what he really wants, I think. And he's good enough, you know, he's playing good enough to get it too. Well, well done, Henry, and well done, Marco, for making the final. We're going to be five minutes, and then we'll be back. Thank you for tuning in.
folks. We're at the business end of the finals with between Marco Teutscher and Matt Edwards. The New Zealand Nine More Tour Auckland Open. Finals time. Live from Massey. Okay, it's only me, the lone wolf, the professor doing the commentary as uh, everyone else has uh, run away. Nobody wants to pick a winner out of this match here. Okay, I think this is like the third final in a row. Those, they're both. And I'll just get that key score up and running. Okay, we're ready to roll. Met to break. The one ball goes wide, but he does put a ball. And he looks pretty in pretty good position here. Race to seven. Two of the best players, or there's quite a few good players, but these two seem to make it to the business end of the finals. This morning, if you asked me who was going to be in the finals, these would have been my first two players I picked. Sullivan was here, it'd be a different story, it'd be hard to pick. Or Marvin Pedrago, Simon Singleton, a lot of good players out there that can play this game, this form of uh, Q Sport, nine ball. Also a lot of good juniors coming through as we saw in the last two games that Marco had. They had both had good chances. Matt Edwards is in really good form. Everything looks pretty straightforward here. Sit near the rail, have that angle just to pop out for the five. Great angle. Go across the table if you want. Just hold the white ball. Our referee is Stephen Lyle from Singapore, international referee. Good start so far by Matt, everything's been perfect. Stop the white ball there. Okay, you can play the nine either in the far corner, natural position here. Roll forward into position or you can run right down the table. Bring it down to the end of the table for easy nine in the middle. Perfect. Okay, just the start he wanted. Puts a bit of pressure on Marco to return serve. Be happy with that. Still a long way to go. First one to seven. Both players relaxed, relaxed concentration. Okay, I can see Marco's going to play a double on this two ball. Sitting behind the four would be the shot to play. He's got a lot of balls to hide behind. He's got the three. Gotta get this right. 
Doesn't want to leave Matt on. He's looking at the cut. 90 degree cut. Sneaking behind the green ball. Maybe crash into it. Hang on. Wait, wait, wait. Wow. How unlucky can you get? Jeez, he has to make this shot. He doesn't want to leave Matt a shot on the three. He either has to make this shot and hope for a bit of luck if he misses. Jump rush. Oh, and there's the luck. Or is it? No, I think the three's on, folks. angle draw back down the table and behind the green ball just doesn't want to be straight he doesn't want it and off that's a pretty good angle we can get out of that draw back to the rail where you're standing or you could just roll forward keep it simple but I think you want an easier shot on that seven ball so you'll draw back seven eight in the same pocket a little bit of spin to go out wide perfect great start by Matt to keep the pressure on Three rails behind the eight. Nice positive shot. It's in perfect position. Spot the ball. He can. He's got an angle angle here to punch it back off the long rail. Dead straight on the nine. Which he's going to do. Nice. Rolled it in for the perfect start. A little bit unlucky for Marco to kiss that seven and snooker himself. But that's nine ball. Perfect start for Matt. Marco's been in this situation. Let's just stay calm. This time will come. And all he's waiting for is that one mistake. Consistently. Okay, and this is the part of the game where you have to have a good safety game or good plan to leave Marco nothing. Push. 
push out court. So anytime after the break you can call a push out even if you can see the one. Okay, just rolls the ball near the rail. So Marco has the option, Marco will definitely get him to play that again. Didn't even move out of the seat. Okay, I can see Matt double this one ball back down the table. Leave some distance, try and hide behind the orange ball. Now he's going the other way. Not a bad leave. Big pot coming up for Marco to get back into the game. Doesn't want to leave another open table and it is open. So he knows this <coughs> shot here. very important. Extension. Extension called. You're allowed one extension every time you visit. So in this frame here he's got no more extensions. Okay, big pot here. Great shot. Still got a tough two here, makes it even harder shot. This white ball sitting on the rail. Very tough shot. But this here is the money ball. If you can pot this. Well, what does he do? Slow roll it or go up and down the table? If he hits it hard, it's going to be a risk of missing. Well, he hit that nice and clean, does a kiss the five. Lux on Matt's side, the second time Marco's snookered himself. Now he has to do the third, well, second jump shot to get out of the snooker. Twice he's been to the table and twice he's had to jump out of his own snooker. How unlucky can that be? Okay, he's going to jump out of this and he's got a chance of putting the three or the four. Pop over it. Oh, missed it all together. Luck is not on his side today, folks. There's still a long way to go. Another easy up for Matt. See no trouble here. Good angle to head towards the orange ball next. Come off the long rail and back out to the middle. Oh, what do we got here? It's okay, he's okay. Natural angle to go down down the table for the brown ball. Make sure the pot can go backwards off two rails if he wishes. We'll just do a stop shot and go straight down the line. Straight down the middle of the table. The best way would be to go two rails and you can overhead it if you like. Mm -hmm. And naturally get in line, but this way here, I think you'll just go straight down the middle of the table. what Marco has been waiting for. Just that one miss. That one miss like that can put you in deep trouble. You know you should be 3-0 ahead but now it's going to be 2 all maybe. Marco hardly misses in this situation. We had three balls. Perfect line run into position. 
Okay, a little bit tricky here. He's going to put that nine in the middle pocket. Would be the easiest. Just draw back a little bit. Perfect. We've got a game on our hands. Should have been three nil. Yeah, just that five ball Matt drawing back to where he ended up was probably the wrong shot. Got the wrong line on the five. And he knows he should have had that frame. Now, depending on what happens here on Marco's break, could be two all. If he gets a shot at the two. So that two is a wing ball. We know that Marco can put the one ball. Just what happens to that two ball? Let's see where it ends up. Doesn't get that lucky again. He snookered on the two. Okay, I think he just put it down the left corner here. Give him at the two in the middle. Let him take the risk. Yep, that's where I'd put it, right down the corner here. Let him take the risk on the two, because Marco knows he can pot this. That'll have a look at it. Also knows that he can pot it somewhere too. He ain't going to give it back. Take it on in the middle, and he have, if he hits the jaw early, could go behind the three. Can place the face cut double, or he can go to the corner. Corner looks like the shot he's going to take on. If he misses, he's got this distance. Uh, he's handed it back. Ooh. So I reckon Michael will face cut this and sit behind the black. Send the two ball across to the four. Yeah, he's looking at the corner as well. Tough shot. Involved here for well, Marco if he does miss. And he has. Wow. <coughs> no luck at all. Still a tough pattern to run out. He has to get perfect on this three ball. Draw straight back to the middle of the table. Or maybe play off the rail. Watch out for the enough. He hit that too good. If he'd done that ten times, we're lucky to get it one out of ten. Okay, sit on the rail for Marco. That'll give him an angle to go across the table. It's a little bit too straight, but it should be okay. Wanted a little bit more angle. 
Harris to really force it across. Looking at two of the best players in New Zealand at the moment. There's also Sullivan Clark, Marvin Rodrigo. Quite a few of the Filipinos. Okay, he's going to draw back towards the 90. He wants an angle on the six ball. He doesn't want it to be too straight. Perfect. Well, setting the ball good. Stop a shot, either sit on the rail or two rails here. Okay, now he can come two rails backwards if he wishes. Or even two rails forward. Backspin's the best way to go. Have that seven o'clock on the ball. And watch out for the in off. Well, it's ended up pretty straight here. Two rails I can see, forward or backwards. Whatever he prefers. Depends on the angle. Forward. Oh my god. Wow, another uncorrupt. Characteristic miss by Marco. That would have taken him to two all. Now he's going to be three one down. Wow. Nice stunt shot to perfection. to miss that shot. The thing was he's running forward off two rails and it's a little bit straight. Bit of angle he would have been okay. Okay we've got a timeout. Just waiting for Matt to grab himself uh, maybe a water. Quick race of seven. And Marco needs to come back with a with no mistakes from now on in. Can't afford to give away a frame like that again. It was good for Matt. Early Christmas. Now we will see what sort of game Marco has after missing that eight ball. Okay, could be another push out. He'll want to put the white ball up around where the three is and make Marco kick, kick that two. He wouldn't want to go unless he wants to hit it himself. Kick snooker. He's going for the kick snooker behind the five. Plays this a nice weight. He'll sit behind the five ball. So we want to play two rails, come off the rail and hit the two thin. Just to nudge that two in behind the five. as he did. It's not a bad leave. I can see Marco trying to sneak in behind the five here. Soft touch on the two.
slow roll, but the five will be the shot. Looks like he's getting hard. Way too hard, Marco. Don't like your next shot. Cat and Mouse, whoever plays the best safety here wins the frame. But in saying that, the four's not easy. That'd be the hardest ball on the table. That's the shot I would have played. Great shot by Matt. Still marking can kick past the purple ball. And then luck becomes involved. The way the balls are running at the moment, he's had no luck at all. Oh, look at that. What did I talk, tell you about no luck at all? So one good positional shot Matt's needs. It's the three to the four. So he'll screw this down the table. Best angle to get himself is a shot at the three in the right corner, but backwards off two rails if it's not on past the five. And he can play that four into the middle as we look at it now. So I can see him thinking two, three, snooker, snooker behind the four. Okay, he's got the great angle, what I earlier said he should do. Two rails backwards. <coughs> Come around a little bit more, Matt, and then you'll see it. You've gone past it. Okay, so he's going to play a snooker. If he pots his three, plays the safety behind the four, five. I'd go two rails and hide and put that four in the middle as we're looking at it now. But he's just going to play. Oh, he's got the shot, has he? No. Just nudges that eight ball. And leaves him no shot for the four or no pocket for the four. Could cut it in the middle. Let's go past the seven. Looks like it does. One good pot. Oh no. He's alright. Or is he? Wow. Just a little bit too hard. It's a good shot, but if it come off. Draw to the opposite side of the rail. Great shot, nice hold. Thought he had a bit too much angle to let it go. It was going to just take off, but it didn't. Get a nice angle. Okay, he doesn't want to miss another eight. Nice shot, perfect. See some good world class pool here, folks, in this final. Great line. Just draw it back to the middle of the table. in the same pocket. Play this with confidence off the back rail or long rail into position. 
Beautiful. Okay, he's back. Yeah, I think if Matt would have maybe got into that position where he could have put that four in the middle. Might have had a chance to run that out. Because he had the perfect angle of that three to go two rails down, even if he got behind it and got a shot at it, then he could have played the snooker behind the five. But it's easy to say out here when you're not playing. When you're in the game, you're totally different. Okay, Marco to break. He needs the break and clear here. Okay, the two's on the back end of the pack. Where does it end up? Oh, he's going to snook himself again, I'd say. No, he's okay this time. And everything's in the open. going to be really fluent here, which shows he has put the time in. Plenty of overseas experience, both players. Plenty of finals. Now he's playing left-handed. with check side. Okay, he's got a funny sort of angle here. He can run two rails behind the four or punch it out. The only th other thing is he's reaching over a couple of balls. No, he's all right, he's got plenty of room. Punch it out, looks like he's playing. Get it to the middle of the table. Oh, he didn't punch it hard enough. Another uncharacteristic mistake. Okay, that five ball looks like it's going in that middle pocket as we look at it. We could play it in the uh, corner pocket here, play it slow, play this four ball slow. But I think it's going to end up halfway. Oh, oh. oh no. How's that for? Not his day. Actually, you can see the edge of that. Yeah, a little bit harder would have got him to the middle pocket. Wow. Tough shot into the middle pocket. Shot. Well, wow, what a recovery. Two rails to the middle. Again, centre of the table. Okay, now he's left himself that same angle. He had early on that he missed the eight ball. But this one looks like he can draw it straight back to where he's standing. Maybe. Beautiful weight.
Okay, folks, we've got a game on our hands. Three each. Great recovery shot on the five ball by Marco. Probably shot of the day. Got the two ball next to the one ball. Let's see where that ends up. Marco usually runs into position here, but he'll play the one rail back to the middle. Make sure the three is on past the seven ball. And that white ball at like seven on the clock. to draw back get perfectly on the four straight shot next hopefully doesn't want no angle so you can run forward for the five ball perfection stop the white ball there Very important shot here to get onto that five ball. Probably look where he's aiming now. He wants to go there. Stun it up for the six ball. Just missed that little pocket. That's where I'd play. I'd play for the white ball to go right where the four is and run forward up towards the nine. Stop it there. Okay, he's got a beautiful angle here to run towards the nine. He's going to be hitting the white ball at the maybe the 9 on the clock or the 11, somewhere around there. So it does that. Perfect. Great line. This is where he holds the white ball really good. That's what a lot of players or younger players need to learn, is how to hold the white ball. Cheat the pocket, because two balls can fit in that bottom corner pocket. Just hold the ball. Watch it just drift across unless he plays it hard and goes across and back out. Great shot. Nice little draw shot in behind the nine ball to be perfect on the eight ball. Watch how he gets the perfect line on this eight ball. So when he does play that eight ball, it's going to be just a stop shot. Great final. Look at that line, perfect. Look at that line. He could have stopped the white ball there if he wanted, but now he's closer to his nine ball. Much easier pot. Wow. Great shooting. When you're playing like that, 
You know you're putting the time. There should be no mistakes at all for not winning. Okay, 4-3. Still going to be a close match. Is the black going to get in the way it does? Well, now what does he do? Just that millimetre off, five centimetres, and he would have been okay. And all the balls look pretty good. Now, what does he do? Looks like he can just kick and hope that he pots it. Runs out for a kick shot. Okay, he's going to push out to uh, maybe a jump shot. So twice in his break, he has snooked himself twice. This time he doesn't get a shot at the two ball. So he'll just push out into a jump shot maybe. That's definitely going to give that back. So we're going to see a, a repeat of what he done to Sullivan Clark. One finals. Jump, run out. Okay, he's going to play enough bottom on this for that white ball just to come back. Maybe run into the eight ball. Get lucky, does he? Well, he does. Not that lucky, but still got a tough shot on the three to get to the four. How lucky is that? How exciting is that? How much pressure is that to put this three and get on the four? Low percentage shot, pot the three, get on the four, so he's going to be looking at maybe a safety. He can draw all the way back down the table, but if he wishes, just got to watch out for the in-off. Oh, what? Oh, no, not another lucky shot. Wow. When's it going to run out? Good double that three in the middle. Is it going to be lucky again? Third time lucky? Well, it is third time lucky. I'll be happy with that sequence of play. That's what nine ball brings you a lot of luck. A little bit of luck helps. No luck for Matt. Done his best to hit the ball. That's all we could ask for. Now we need a good shot here from Marco. Just wants to draw the ball back a little bit. Doesn't want to come too far back. Just want to pot the ball as the key. Holy smoke. Never expect him to miss a shot like that. Winning position. Both players just struggling at the moment. 
Matt Thu just getting unlucky shots after Marco's missed. Real important frame, this one. It's a nice shot by Matt. Puts the pressure back on Marco to kick. Hit the ball and maybe get lucky again. Going down this way, hidden at speed. That four or five could go in. Just want to make sure you hit the ball first. That four or five could go in. Oh, both balls. Wow. It's luck run out. Okay, folks, this should be four each. Yeah, nice touch to get a good angle on the four ball. Perfect angle to get to the six. This will be dead straight on the six ball. Doesn't want to be too high, otherwise he has to go backwards. That's perfect. Going forwards better than going back through rails. At least this way he's going towards the eight ball. Play a nice positive shot up and down the table instead of a slow roll. Looks like it's four each. Nice draw back into line. Perfect line on the nine ball. It's always going to be a close final this match for each. Okay. Matt to break, I think. No. Taking a time out. Seven. Okay, time out folks. Both players have uh, left the arena. Probably go and look in the mirror and say, talk to themselves. Okay, there's Marcos too. A little bit of luck. It's a time out. Referee Stephen Lyle, international referee from Singapore, doing a great job on keeping those players' momentum going and putting the clock on them. Remember the Oceana tournament at the end of the year, 3rd of November, I think. Good one to enter. A lot of international players coming over. Big prize money. OK, 
Okay, it's race to three. Just going to fill his glass of water up. Marco just coming back. Okay, both players back to the arena. Quick race to three. Ready to New Zealand Nine Ball Tour, Auckland Open. I'm sure there's going to be a Franklin Open, a couple of other Opens. Maybe the Dunedin Open. Matt Edwards to break. Originally from Canterbury. Canterbury. The Kaipoi region. Where I think uh, he started playing pool in Kaipoi. They had a pool room down that way. I think it was Danny Hoonier that owned it. A room full of nine ball tables is where he learnt his trade. Okay, real important frame this one. Two rail safety if you can't pot it. Oh, he's a bit short. Watch out for the middle. A little bit short. Left an open table. Fairly easy start for Matt. Straight six, but the only thing is he has to queue over the top of the six ball. Shot, nice pace. It's on the two ball. Looks pretty good here. A lot of the top players can see the pattern. Just needs the GSP going for that right navigation into the middle of the table. Use the eight ball to hold it up. Perfect shot. Okay, it's a little bit straight here. Should be able to go in and out off the long rail. Punch it in and come out to the middle. Center ball. That's pretty good. Follow stroke through stroke. Watch out for the middle pocket. It's going to be a jaw in the way. No, he should be all right. I think he's all right. Wow. Could this be the changing of the match? Yeah, he had a little bit too much inside English on that one. A little bit too much. I think he's all right. 
having a real close look at this. Look how close he's looking. Marksman. I think he's okay. Wow, how close can you get? Where's the white ball going to end up? No, oh, he's going safe. Kiss into the six. Oh, Yelch. He's got a giveaway shot and he taps the table with the cue. He's disappointed with that shot. Both of them had have a, have had both bad you know bad rubs, but keep your, keep your composure. Oh, this is bad too. Might have just got past that Chinese snooker shot. Now all he can play is forward for the middle pocket. He's okay with it. See the body language? Saying, yep, he likes that middle pocket. Watch out for the foul. Nice pace. It's always easy to run into position. Let's just get past the mid mid table so he's got an angle to go towards the nine ball it's gone a little bit too far but it's okay for a player of his calibre Perfect touch. Opportunity there for Matt that he just hit a little bit too hard with too much inside English and snookered himself on the jaw. Okay, Mark had a break. The two ball there. The two ball usually goes to the middle. A lot of the top overseas players know where all of those balls end up. They've worked out the break so well that they know where every ball goes to. He's got a 1-8 combination here. But what's going to happen after he pots the 8 is the key. Yeah, I would say you'd have to force this around to come back around for the 1. You can't play it soft unless he draws back. The wrong shot, but he might be okay. Kick shot off the rail, even if he misses, can run down the table and leave it safe. Whoa, or oh, he's gonna miss and leave it over the pocket. Ooh. 
Yeah, that combination he took on was always going to be a bit risky. Didn't know what the one ball was going to do. Four, five is okay. Let's punch shot into position. Got a good angle to come back for the five. Perfect. Just the six to the seven is the key. Okay, all he can do is draw back to the middle. Take that shot on. Unless he can draw back past the middle, six in the middle. He's got a funny sort of angle here. Best shot here well for me would be draw back past the middle. Put the six in the middle towards the seven. down and behind the seven, either the middle or the corner, middle is the shot. Okay, it's down to a race to two folks. Always knew this wasn't going to be a close match. Both players have played well. It's just been the luck that I've lost in the frames. It's getting unlucky. to two folks <coughs> both players will want this frame here get some two bites of the cherry nice one with the two going it's going to perfection Beautiful layout, can't see much in the way of Matt not finishing here. It's all pretty much straightforward. Nice shot, he's ended up a little bit straight on this. Let's do a stop shot, get a shot at the four, pot the four. Leave him angle from the five to get to the six. stroke on this four ball once hit the white bullet around five on the clock spot the ball 
doesn't need to be close on that five ball. And he just pots it. Perfect. It's got the perfect angle here to get to the middle of the table. angle and now he's got a shot the same sort of shot he played on the four ball exactly the same sort of shot a little bit harder what you mean for the five on the clock Not very nice okay so we can go two rails with the spin, which is the best way to go, use the two rails going backwards instead of going forward, or you can go straight up the table. It's easy to punch this through, use the two rails to run into line. Okay, looks like he's on the hill. Just gotta watch out if he draws this, the middle pocket again. Got to watch out if he's used run inside. The shot that Marco missed earlier on the eight ball, same shot. That's why he's in two minds. That's why he has to get up again because he's in the. He's got the bad angle on. While well, he's got a good angle on both selections of shots, forward or backwards. Backwards is the best. Going forward, perfect. <laughs> Back behind the nine ball, which is perfect. Well, Matt's on the hill. Marco ready to break. He needs a shot at the two ball. But first of all, he needs the pot of ball. <coughs> two of the best informed players at the moment. Making quite a few of the finals. Just doesn't want to scratch. It's got the one ball with two going. Oh no, doesn't look good. Whoa, just, there's a window there. So we've got to play a nice stroke to push it through and then back out for the three. Jeez, everything looks good here. Nice start. It's got to keep everything simple. The six to the seven is going to be the hard part. This is the key here. Get a good angle on the five ball to get to the six ball. Needs the right angle on this five ball. angle this is going to be a perfect angle doesn't really want to be straight you can punch off the rail and back out into the middle where his hand is let's be with that glovers perfect okay so this is the key here you can just stop it there and take a difficult cut in the middle I wouldn't I don't really like that shot 
I can draw back up table. Haven't seen the angle on the seven yet, but. Not bad, not bad. He could have been a little bit straighter. Tough shot here. One good pot. Pressure is on. Just got to watch out for that nine ball snooker. for that nine ball snooker he's away from it well folks we've got a one frame f final here looks like he's going to screw this up the table for the nine in the corner nice touch nice pace nice use of the rail There you go, folks. We're both on the hill. Couldn't have asked for a better final than this. Down to one frame. Both shake hands. Cue ball in hand for Matt. Okay, where does that two ball end up? Needs a ball off the break. And he's got control. Ball off the break and a shot at the two. Should win him the game. And the title. Oh no. No. No, no, no. Is there any more twist to this match? That's a nice start. Center of the table is the best spot to be. So he's got an angle on the three to run down the table for the four. Just watch out for that jaw in the middle pocket when you pot that three. That might come into play. He's got a good angle to miss that jaw now. Oh, wow. Well, I'm picking him to go two rails behind the black ball. And take the short side of the four. Run down past the five ball. Go, folks, this is the shot that won him the game. Oh, wow, wow, wow. Holy smoke, he got the good kiss.
That was the best way to play that shot. Still a lot of work to go yet. Come up the short side of the five and the five in the same pocket maybe. Yep, perfect. Okay, he's in total control here. He's not home yet. Set the table. Perfect. Okay. He wants to be in the centre of the table again. Could play two rails back to the centre. Behind the black. Give him a nice angle on that seven. Looks like he's running forward, but... Yep, that's a nice angle. Through the middle, right through the middle of the table for position on the eight ball. Oh no. Wow, that one percent Matt was hoping for. There was a twist we were waiting for. Just pot the ball. Pot the seven, give yourself a chance. Marco played the perfect shot there, perfect position. But he must have had it too thick. Straight up the table for Matt. Give himself a chance, and he does. Still not over. We're waiting for that one more percent. Chance of missing. Okay, where he put his chalk, that's where he wants to be. Coming straight down the table. There you go, perfect. There we go, folks. Matt Edwards, the winner of the New Zealand Nine Ball Tour Auckland Open. What a match, what a game. You couldn't ask for much more. Both players played well. Come down to one shot. So hopefully we'll be back next week with the juniors. But yeah, what a great final. Thank you everyone for tuning in. And we'll see you next time. And hopefully my partner in crime, my partner in crime will be here. So thank you everyone.